up there. I bet that's what happened. What was that all about? Remember the good old days when we were nice to each other? Not really. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, audio is now on. Are we live? We are live. Oh, we boy. are live. Oh, boy. We're going to do a quick... Why is there a, like a haze on me? Oh, I, is, who moved the light? Okay. He, he always looks at me on these things. I didn't look at you. Who did time. this? Who did this? What happened here? My ice machine's unplugged or d- yes, turned that off. that one. I didn't turn it off. It's probably, it had to be you or Dave. We're the only people that come in this building. Yes. No, that's not true. Your wife comes down there all the time and steals M&M's. Oh, not my sweet lady. Well, maybe she went over and turned it off. No. You you allow people to come in and do baseball board meetings here. Maybe one of those people. They're they're all of, of fragile character. Oh, his See wife. how that's he his wife. goes after everybody except well, not, for the, not sweet Sam. Oh no, Sam. Not, saw him. There's She's a ninety nine percent chance it was you or Dave. It was not me. But you're describing the other one percent. It was not me. Okay. Because I'd have to hit a button on so it to it turn Dave. it off, right? Maybe we had a power glitch here in Guthrie. We could have. I don't know. I mean, sidewalk people might hit a line. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no lines hit. No, no lines hit. <laughs> Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Moving on. We are with City Manager Eddie Faulkner tonight. So we are going to be talking about the April 2nd election, growing Guthrie. We might have a sidewalk question or two. Kind of calm everybody down. People are freaking out. A little bit, yes. Yeah, silly. I had a guy ask me today. So he looked at me and he said, this is, you know, insert the words you mm-hmm. assume somebody would say. What's that? Uh, BS. Okay. And I said, well, Sims. I said, well, bologna sandwich. I eat there all the time. I always get the two rib dinner. But, <laughs> but, but no, I said, uh, I said, what's that? He goes, well, shutting these down. When I, park. I said, it's a temporary inconvenience for a really beautiful outcome. I mean, you know, we're, we, we're in the building, right? I mean, literally you walk in, walk up our stairs. It's not killing us. I mean, you know, you have to park a little farther away. Okay. Well, Across Everybody, the street, most people are like me. Those extra twenty steps, you can use them. You know, they're not they're not hurting anybody. So now I only had to park at Jelsma. I mean, the Squires, but it's all right. It's good. You need, yeah. you need them. Well, I got a, I got a, I got a goal to catch. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but no, but I, I, you know, there's always going to be folks out there that are upset about yeah. everything. But it's going to be really nice. I mean, you look down at the finished work down in front of Shorts. Be really yeah. nice. I mean, you look down at the awesome. finished work down. Looks so good. All right. Can Phil push the button? No. No. I'm not allowed to touch buttons. All right, you got an ice machine now. I don't need a stream deck. We're going to have to work. Welcome to the Open Mic Podcast with Chris Evans and Phil Nichols, along with Ronnie Phillips. The Open Mic Podcast is part of the Second Banana Media Podcast Network. Coming to you live from Guthrie, Oklahoma, inside the Second Banana Media Studios, here's Chris Evans. I don't touch any electronics. Hello and welcome. It is the Open Mic Podcast, March 27, 2024. Hope everyone's enjoying the extended daylight time. Although we got to get the weather a little bit more consistent right now. It's cold, but I think it's warming up toward this week. So I uh, appreciate everyone checking us out tonight. Uh, special time continues at 6.30. Should be 6. Should be 7. Should be 7. And I, here, I, here I am the, in the middle, 6.30. So here we go. <laughs> they try to make everybody happy. Get home a little bit sooner. Well, I'm not happy. You've been accusing me of things ever since you got in the room today. I have. Ronnie Phillips, city manager of the city of Guthrie, Eddie Faulkner. Phil Nichols, Chris Evans with you. we got a lot to talk about with the city manager. Coming up on April 2nd, the polls will be open for registered voters, and it's for all parties. This is a nonpartisan vote here. That's one of the great things about the uh, city of Guthrie and Guthrie Public Schools. You, you can be whatever you want to be. You can still vote. That makes things so much easier uh, to to break down uh, when we have our votes in the city of Guthrie. But uh, you got to live in the city of Guthrie to vote on April second. We're going to talk about what uh, what all that is here in a little bit. But you have to be a registered voter within the city limits. So uh, there, unfortunately, will be some people go to the poll ready to vote, can't and, vote, and cannot vote. So and they'll be mad. They'll stomp out. They'll go to Facebook and they'll say it. Absolutely. So uh, <laughs> if you uh, if you don't know, just go to Oklahoma. There's, there's a board a vote portal. 
uh, with the Oklahoma Election Board. Just go there. You can put in your name and I think your birthday, and it pulls up all your information, your polling place, your sample ballots, all that good stuff. Maybe I can share it here in a little bit, but uh, definitely will be on Guthrie News page here in the coming days as well. So we're going to talk about that and what all that looks like. Uh, but uh, if you're if you've been going up and down Division Street, you've noticed the sidewalk project is well underway, yeah. and uh, a little portion of it is already complete. We shared a picture of it last week in front of Shorts is where they started yep. on the uh, east side of Division Street, and Harrison's still closed. Yeah, I'm, it looks like they're ready to pour some cement maybe as early as Thursday morning or Thursday afternoon, uh, but... Uh, so far on schedule and all that great stuff with the sidewalk project? Yes, yes. So I want to point out first, this is an ODOT project. Correct. That is occurring in the city of Guthrie. So we have very little input. State highway. It is a state highway. We refer to it as division. We know it as division. It is State Highway 77. Uh, this TAP project, Transportation Alternative Program, sidewalk project is managed by ODOT. So we're doing everything we can. That's an important, that's an important piece of information. <laughs> that's, that's, but you've been uh, able yeah. to have conversations yeah. with the contractors. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. So the team, Tenny Maker and his staff, uh, public works director, they've been out there coordinating on a, almost a daily basis. Yeah. Hey, if, if we're going to have to close an intersection, if there's going to be a business that's impacted, we want to make sure everybody's getting notified ahead of time. Uh, I think we've had a few hiccups in communication. Guys, we're, we're human. We're nope. doing the best we can. Nope. Uh, we got a project going on. We're inconvenienced just as much as everybody else is. Yep. So uh, we have made a priority. 89ers is coming up. We've made that deadline a priority for this, this contracting crew. We said, hey, We've got a parade coming up in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Not a normal parade. <laughs> Not a normal the parade. The biggest day parade. Yeah. The, the parade. The yeah. parade. Uh, so we've emphasized to them, hey, the, both intersections have to be open for that date. Uh, so barring any weather issues, that shouldn't <clears throat> be a problem. Uh, I believe Harrison will be opened up first and next week at the latest. Um, ideally, it'll be opened up maybe as soon as tomorrow. <coughs> Uh, I think it's open up right now. <coughs> Harrison, no. I just drove by and there was a car going to turn left well, on the division. They, they might be doing it illegally. They might be doing. There was no cones or anything. There was nothing up there. Yeah, it's the big old z- signs everywhere. Yeah. Is there? Yeah. Hmm. I, well, I saw cars. I saw a car. Well, the Harrison intersection I drove by. <laughs> still close. Oh, there was, yeah. there was a car turning right left on division. Cut me off. Huh. Hope not. <laughs> Interesting. So as soon as tomorrow, um, at the latest uh, Monday morning. So. East Oklahoma is now closed. The crews have been ripping out as much of the concrete, the asphalt intersection there as they can. Um, and going back, if, if you notice there at Shorts, man, it just really yes. looks, looks good. looks so good. Uh, and they're not complete. So there's brickwork that's, that's going to be taking place as well. Nice. So there's going to be bricks coming in and... Uh, the, the bricks that were there will be put back in, in those places. They will. Yep. Okay, right there. I got asked that question, Eddie. I was at the Liars Club uh, uh, coffee, um, and somebody asked me, I think it was Sam Rice asked me, will they put brick back where there was brick? And yep. so they will do that. Yep. Okay, yep. that's very good. Yep. Now, I, I noticed on Harrison there was like, it looked like some, like some grooves cut out on the street itself. Are they doing something there? So the apron from the intersection um, at Harrison in Oklahoma, it'll come back. On Harrison, uh, there there will be an asphalt overlay up to the intersection. Okay. It, it's almost dead level with the entrance to Vision Source. Okay. Yeah. Um, Oklahoma, it'll be between Recollections yeah. and okay. uh, TTMA okay. on this side. So, yeah. yeah. Well, they. I had some fun. I think the crew's doing a good job from what I've seen. I. And I spoke to a couple of them today because they're now up near our entryway and was giving them a hard time, teasing them. And the guy was sitting on the on the skid loader, and I said, hey, why don't you just take a break? Let me have that. I said, I'll get the sidewalk <laughs> knocked out real quick. We'll move this thing along a little bit. And he goes, come on. <laughs> yeah. sure. But and I think that's important, just keeping perspective. It's like if you do a project at your own home, there's always little inconveniences when you do it at your, in your own home. But you're waiting for that final product, and our downtown's going to look so much nicer. It's going to be really nice. Well, uh, Sheriff Damon Devereaux says the same thing. Harrison is open, yeah. Ronnie. And 
I, I did take a picture. Thank you, Double D. Yeah. I did take a picture of the sidewalk project to talk about it. And the picture that I took before the show even started is right there. And is there, that Ronnie's car? There's, there's a car, a right car there. right, right you, there ready to go. So, so I knew it was open. Is that your car? That's not my car. Well, and we have another car up here that is turning. So well, looky there. there, you, there you that's go. good news. There you go. I was literally about to walk out here and go take a video. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's great. I stand correct. Well, they're ahead I, of schedule. Yeah. That's good. They're ahead of schedule. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, go. and I had, and I had asked, I had said, told Phil earlier, and I saw some Facebook. I need, I need to stay away from Facebook, but um, <laughs> let's do what why, Phil did. Why would they close Harrison, Oklahoma, at the same time? I was like, yeah, I kind of agree, but it was only for. A few hours, sort of day, and, yeah. And I, and again, guys. I mean, so this, I came down, saw Harrison. It was still closed this morning. They were doing stuff yeah. down that area. So I rolled up by, and I saw all the all the barricades and stuff. So we couldn't park out front where we normally do, and I expected that because um, that actually started, I think, yesterday, uh, Monday I think, morning. I think, yeah, yeah, yes. whatever, yeah, yeah. So they blocked it off. But then I saw the barricades across Oklahoma, and I thought, well, here we go. Um, so our, our time is here. Our time is here. <laughs> so I did the loop, came around, pulled up here, parked right down down here, and then when I parked, I realized, how am I going to turn around and get out of here? Because you, you know, you, if you're on that side of the street and you back out, so hopefully you can talk to uh, Officer Gibbs and tell him if somebody's backing backwards down uh, Oklahoma, not to write him a ticket. Well, I, I Officer I'll, Gibbs, uh, we need to start enforcing right up here too. I will. I will. Well, four. <clears throat> Do all the line. Two spots. Um, I, I will. I will say no. this, this is progress in here, and I. Yes, it's going to be affecting our parking. It's part, but I. Will, I was kind of leading the cheerleading uh, as, as how bad these ADA non-compliant ADA were. And the perfect example is, oops, is I took a picture today, and down here there was a curb that goes to the alley. There's yep. an alley here. You have to step down, walk through the alleyway, then step back up to get back on the sidewalk. And if someone's in a wheelchair or a stroller, or visually impaired, or visually impaired, it's a safety. There hazard. is no way they're getting through there, and there's a bunch of play cases like that. And so that's, I'm so glad this project is being done <laughs> yeah. because if I have to park and walk a few extra steps, that's okay with me because it is such, it was such so bad. And I'm not in a wheelchair. I have a sister that's in a wheelchair, yep. and I can only imagine uh, how frustrating that was because the only other option is to go into the state highway. Right. Uh, right. Literally. Literally. Yeah. Literally. Literally. Literally to go into yeah. the state highway yeah. where there's cars parked, there's cars coming back and forth trying to be yellow lights. And you got to drive alongside cars. You might hit them or you might get hit. Yeah. Well, and think about if you're not from here, right? Because if you're from here, you kind of learn, you know, I'm talking about folks that aren't in chairs or aren't visually impaired. But let's say it's a guest to our community and they're walking down the sidewalk and, and, and maybe somebody that's with them is in a chair. Mm -hmm. And they come to that point. If they don't know, if they're not prepared for it and they're looking around, it's a safety hazard. It's a serious safety hazard. I mean, so there's a, there's a lot of reasons why this is a great project. It's going to be beautiful, but I think you're hitting on the most important thing. It's going to make a big part of our downtown much more accessible, Absolutely. which is a big deal. And it's, it's a good kickoff for some of the projects yeah. we planned in the future. Yeah, right? absolutely. And, and it goes to show that you don't realize what you don't have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we've preserved, we've got the brick sidewalks, and they're great. We love them. But we don't think about those who yeah. don't get to enjoy them like we do. Yeah. And so. Well, and even, and you've talked about this before, Eddie, the, the uh, stop lights, you know, that, you know, they're, they're not compliant. Right. And, and you know, and, and people go, well, how are they not compliant? Well, again, if you're visually impaired, you, know, you go to many towns around the country and they're telling you, yep. you know, walk or stop or whatever, right? Yeah. No. I mean, and so it's just, <laughs> there's just so many things to think about and it all costs an extreme amount of money. Yeah. And that's the thing. I was, I told uh, our buddy Eric Little last night, he was sitting next to me at the CIP uh, town hall that we had last night and at the fire station. Thanks for doing that again last night. And, and I leaned over or he leaned over to me and he says, you don't think about those things unless it directly affects you. And, and it's not because people don't care. You just don't. It's it's you just don't think about it. That's what he told me. Whenever he, he came yeah. out to the baseball get field, he goes, he goes, man, there's a lot of stuff you don't even think about. So yeah, there's yeah, lots, a there's lot, lot of there's a lot into it. Yeah, there really <laughs> is. But you guys, you guys are freaking magicians. What you do with the money that we have. I mean, I'm I'm so impressed with everything we've gotten accomplished. Um, and of course, I know we're going to talk more about the vote next week. But hopefully, the citizens will get out next week and vote, and and we'll see how that turns out. But 
but it's uh it's man it's it's all so so needed just so needed well, Jim, i, I want to be very clear uh when you when you praise the city very little of that has to do with city manager and and i want to be very clear the reason that we accomplish what we accomplish in this community is team guthrie yep. it is the employees it is the folks who live here and make this community what it is I, I'm honored and thrilled to be a part of it. Um, the, the pieces I do get to be involved in are life-changing for me, my yeah. involvement. Uh, but w the movers and shakers, the ones who, who do the, the dirty work here, they are the ones that are responsible for making it happen. So please know that going into this. Well, and I think yeah. last night at the meeting, you know, we were at, was at the fire station last, last night. And when you put up the statistics – of the number of calls our firefighters, EMTs make, paramedics make every year, fire and emergency calls, and you break it down by average. We're averaging eight ambulance calls a day, a day, um, averaging more than about what is about one and a half, almost two, about one and a half fire calls a day. Yeah. I mean, and we're doing that. When, while we're based on the experts' numbers, understaffed, and it, and it's the reason we're, it's not because we don't want to be staffed correctly. You got to have the money to staff them. Yeah. I mean, you got to have the room. I mean, we're out of room, you know. So there's just so many needs. And we're, we're going to talk about that part here in just a little bit when we talk about CIP. Uh, just to wrap, wrap it up here quick, uh, Jeff got the, the new ADA sale works are looking sharp. Can't wait for us to add even more with the vote yes for CIP two. Yep. And uh, before we move on to growing Guthrie, GF Guthrie, us on to the roundabout. Are we getting close to that uh, announcement? <laughs> I, was, I was about to say that too. We're ready for yeah. some roundabouts. <laughs> I want them everywhere. I'm all about roundabouts. Uh, Sooner in division. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Sooner in division. Yeah. So, sooner in division roundabout, we we have not heard back from okay. ACOG at this point. Um, Who do I need to call? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> so so we have corresponded with ODOT Department of Transportation. Uh, they are in favor of a roundabout at that intersection. Uh, in fact, I believe the Department of Transportation would like to see roundabouts in other areas in the city. Keep in mind we Chris have Pine, Pine and Noble. <laughs> Keep in mind Pine we have huge yeah. two state highways. Yeah. yeah. Highway 33, Highway 77. So no solid plans at this point, um, but there there are conversations. That's good. Uh, we've not received the approval at this time. I so. would say the one at Sooner Division makes a little bit more sense because there's more land area when you get into Pine and Noble area, which would be great for one. But remember, there's businesses on each side, yeah. so you're going to be creeping into that area. So it's a little bit more difficult because it's not – We'll slap one down there. You got to have the land available and the space for that as well. So there's yeah. a lot that kind of goes into those. Yep. Yeah. So, all right. So, uh, what? Uh, real quick, a big thank you to uh, Pastor Greg Gibson with the twenty dollars super chat. He says our town is going to look good. Hello, fellas. Thank you for that. Thank uh, you, Pastor Greg. No doubt That's about great. that. So, uh, God, so we got a great town. Don't we? <laughs> Growing Guthrie, yeah. it is the uh, thing that uh, the city of Guthrie has been talking about a whole lot here lately, and uh, there's been two town halls in the last couple of weeks, including one last night about Growing Guthrie, as there is a vote on April Tuesday, April 2nd, and uh, there's a lot of great information going on here. Uh, just kind of sum it up, uh, Eddie, you probably do a better job of this, but uh, the, the citizens of Guthrie... Uh, 2016 voted for a three-quarter sales tax that goes to capital improvement projects. So when we say CIP, that's what we're talking about, capital improvement projects. And those are some of the things that we've seen in the past here in Guthrie with the new fire truck and the, and the fleet and some other things that we'll probably talk about here in a little bit. That three-quarter sales tax uh, has a sunset of expiring in 2031, and voters will decide on April 2nd if that same tax – percentage stays the same should the only thing that would be changing is the date of 2031 to the year 2046 and that will have so much with that some projects with that eddie did i, did I sum it up okay so yeah, far yeah you did great you've done two town halls you've done a whole bunch of background work <laughs> i don't know why i'm trying to, to lead this way but so you, you I'll, I'll kick it over to you i'll be 79 when that expires yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Well, maybe. <laughs> Cannon says I got three years left. <laughs> You're falling apart quickly. <laughs> yeah. 2046 is a, is a long way out. Yeah. And how we got to that number, uh, that everything you've seen on the Growing Guthrie proposal, so all the projects, 
all the data. That's all come from the community <laughs> survey that was distributed in December. So that went out via the utility bills. It was on social media. It was on the website. I think you guys even promoted it for yep, us. We yep. appreciate that. Uh, this really, this initiative really came about as a solution to solve the immediate needs of the community without imposing any tax increases. So you guys have had the pleasure of hearing me preach about the budget in the community, uh, the sales tax. Most folks don't realize cities are funded primarily on sales tax in Oklahoma. Yep. So as sales tax ebb and flows, you know, it, it's high, it's low. Um, we're currently coming off of an inflationary period and, and uh, the economy. And so we, we've had some really good years, but on the flip side of that, we've had good years of collections and then we've had projects that have increased 200%. Yeah. yeah. It, so you may have seen a 8% year over year increase, but every project you've had has had a 200% increase in cost. And so it, really the project that kicked us off was the pool at Highland Park. And the community has said, hey, okay, the pool's important. It's been here for 80 years, and staff, we agree. We agree. Uh, having that quality of life feature is important. The struggle we have, if you guys will remember, I had been here about two weeks last year, mm -hmm. and the uh, public works director, Tenny Maker, comes in. He says, uh, welcome to Guthrie. We need to close the pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's been open for 80 some odd years. Yeah, it's been Here's open. a list of the people that are going to be calling you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sitting here going, okay. Uh, <laughs> it's like, okay, so t tell me why we need to close the pool. And he goes, well, it's leaking 40,000 gallons of water a day. A it, day. A day. It's got a three inch continuous water line that runs to the pool. Uh, in addition to that, it's not ADA accessible. It, it doesn't, um, you know, not only the pool, but the bathhouse. Yeah. You know, you come out of the bathhouse and it's an eight foot drop straight down. Yeah. Uh, so it has served its useful life. You know, it, it got us to where we are today. And so uh, just to touch back on, the, on that water loss, when I got here in April of 23, we had experienced a drought all of late 22 and really we still haven't come completely out of that the lakes are still very low yeah uh, but we got to a point from a staff perspective our number one priority is protecting the community we can't in good conscience say open the pool lose 40,000 gallons of water a day and if we have a major structure fire you know what are we going to do like we had downtown Guthrie not Five, six years ago. 2018. Yeah. Wasn't that, didn't we just get the ladder truck when that happened? The day, yeah, the day that ladder truck came in, it was put into service uh, for the fiddle shop. Could you imagine the potential building loss if we didn't have that ladder truck? Uh, the downtown streetscape would This whole would side look, could be gone. It would look very different. Yeah. Where yeah. we're sitting today yeah. wouldn't be, be here. Wouldn't be here. Yeah. yeah. So, so the CIP mm. sales tax has done some really good things. It, Purchase that ladder truck. It's got an aerial platform, reaches 110 feet. So that is high enough for any building in Guthrie. Hotels. Yeah. It, it high enough any building in the city of Guthrie to protect <coughs> its collapse zone. So everything, everything around it, it'll get you to the top. It'll get you surrounded. Uh, in addition to that, the police department was able to purchase new Tahoes. You guys have seen the Tahoe mm -hmm. fleet. That was a close couple of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so nice we, seats inside, right, Phil? <laughs> well, they're, they're not leather, but yeah, they're nice. <laughs> so we were able to upgrade the fleet, um, and, and most of that has to do with officer security. Mm -hmm. So not only is it a safe and reliable transportation method, um, but it's also a safer vehicle for the folks who protect us yeah. to be out in the community. In. Uh, in addition to that, Banner Park, everything you see out at Banner Park, that was funded CIP1, uh, Mineral Wells, Splash pad, upgrades you saw out there, CIP1. Uh, tennis courts, pickleball courts, Highland Park, uh, Mineral Wells, all of those things in a very short amount of time. And again, when I credit Team Guthrie, our team stretches every dollar they can. And, and we've gotten really comfortable with making do. We, we make $1 turned into 3 Many, many days, almost every day. Um, 
So previous to me, city manager Leroy Alsa, great job with the finances here in the city of Guthrie, was able to, again, make some magic happen, make these projects happen. So <clears throat> CIP number two was born, of course. Uh, this proposal, we've got five main projects. We've Yeah, and CIP one was huge. I think CIP two can be even bigger, and you're about to go over those <coughs> reasons why. But, you know, CIP one was so important to get us – up to date on a lot of stuff, but I think CIP two goes above and beyond that. I mean, with the projects that you're about to talk about. So something that we didn't do with CIP one uh, that we've done with CIP two. There's a couple of changes. So we have city council and staff. We have implemented an oversight committee that will meet at least once a year during the budget season to overview all of the CIP expenditures. So any expenditures that's happened in the last year, any proposed expenditures for the upcoming year. And the oversight committee is made up of citizens inside the city of Guthrie. Yep. Oh. yep. <coughs> so the city council approved a resolution formalizing that creation, that committee creation uh, at the last meeting. So every council member gets to nominate one person to put on that on that committee. And their nomination coincides, their term coincides with that council member who nominated them. So uh, the city manager's office has three appointments as well, and uh, those, those are to be confirmed by the mayor. So, again, same guidelines. They have to be here residents of the city. They can be business owners. Um, one of my appointments, uh, Dr. Simpson, again, he's, he's a local guy, lives here in the community, I have a lot of respect for Dr. Simpson. Uh, Never his heard of him. What's his name? <laughs> What's do, he do? do <laughs> it, Dr. Oh, Mike Simpson. Oh, he's Kelly's what, husband. Oh, yeah, Kelly's it's a husband. husband. Kelly's husband. Yeah. Kelly's husband. Yeah. Colin's Kelly's dad. Husband. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it brings a lot of great knowledge yeah. and, and perspective, not only of the community, but um, he's knowledgeable on municipal issues as well. Yeah, and very so, much so yeah. and I think we could all agree, Dr. Simpson has been a constant in the community, yep. uh, you know, and, and, and again, I have a lot of respect for him. So former citizen of the year, he's told me several times. <laughs> he won that? Yeah. Well, that, okay, that cheapens yours. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you, or Eddie, earlier you talked about the survey that went out to the community. Yep. And there were five big projects that came from that. Yep. And, and, I, I invite you to go to the growingguthrie.com. All the things that we're saying, uh, you can all you can see this all on growingguthrie.com. I'm about to pull the website up here so we can take a look at some of it. But all that, all the great information is there. Of course, if you have more information or questions, you can definitely ask Eddie of that. But uh, the top one, and we've talked about this for years and years and years and years, and nothing has really. Things have happened, but not to what this could do. And that, oops, and that is the. Water line, water valve, water tower, and sanitary line upgrades and replacements. We always talk about water, lakes turning over, old pipes. This is the number one project that came back that CIP2 can have a big impact on. So to, to segue into these projects, when, when the council said, you've got the green light, let's move forward with CIP number two, they said, okay, a couple of things we're going to do to protect public trust in the community uh, and also of this of this initiative is okay you've got the oversight committee that's in place that's a that's another layer of protection for the community they're checking the staff they're presenting to council uh, the second thing is we presented five projects that we think uh, we know we can fund with CIP number two and and as an oversight committee you got to hear all of the needs mm -hmm. so you got to hear 55 miles of pre-1975 water line, 22 miles of pre-1975 sewer line. Yep. The cost estimates to replace 55 miles of pre-1975 water line, we could never get it done in any one individual's lifetime. Mm -hmm. Before Dr. Simpson passed those two bond issues of the citizens passed it, and he put it for, you can give us $100 million and that would just get us going. It'll get just us started. Right. Yeah, it <laughs> really would. It would yeah. get us started. Baseball still might be left out <laughs> with $100 million. So, so with this CIP number two, we've got a clear path forward. So oversight committee sat down. They got to hear all the critical needs of the city. They got to hear every expenditure CIP number one went to. Um, and, and so Oversight Committee said, okay, here are five projects. It gets us to a total of $15 million, which is what we think CIP number two will generate. We put those projects out to the community in that survey, and we said, rate, rate your priority of these things. 
And number one was water line, water tower, water valve, and sewer replacements. Yep. No surprise. No surprise. Want to want to be mindful. You know, I've, I've received a few questions as we go through these projects. I've received a few questions about streets. Well, yep. why aren't we addressing any streets here? Well, this is only one, one funding mechanism. Right. And we've got to touch as many areas of the city as we can. So we're, we're talking infrastructure, we're talking quality of life, and we're talking uh, emergency services. And there is a funding mechanism for streets that, that, is, that the city has already funded. Uh, it, it, very little. That doesn't go as long as, as far as we want. But there is, a, there is a funding mechanism in place. Right, right. Yes, yes. There's a utility bill fee yeah. uh, that, that is dedicated for, for street improvements. So to give you some perspective on the water line projects we've got going on right now, uh, just for cost estimating purposes, 1.7 miles of water line being replaced in the city. And we're talking n no major distribution lines, 12 inches or smaller, $1.7 million. <laughs> well, yeah. A million dollars a mile. A million dollars a mile is what we're talking. And so that's, that's what we're worth, Ronnie. Yes. Why and can't just, we get that kind of jack? And that big water line project that went from the to the uh, to from the water treatment plant up to Harrison, with with some money that that's a million bucks. Now this is a little bit more than I mean it, there was a lot lot yeah. that went into that, but that's over a million bucks. It's over, right at it. Yeah. Yes, sir. And keep in mind that project started two years ago. Yeah, uh, and we've run into some issues with that project, but luckily the public works department has taken care of it. So stepped in and finished it. They did. They yeah. did. Um, it, yet another reason why I look at Tenny and his staff. Sure. In amazement. I mean, yeah. this guy. Yeah. We're so lucky to have him. I can't. I mean, he's he's say an amazing public works director. Enough good about Tenny yeah, Walker. He's that, amazing. That guy is just phenomenal. Yeah, he is. Uh, so, number one project, the water towers. Water towers have got to be maintained. So, West Side Tower. Um, Many folks are familiar with where the West Side Tower is up off uh, 19th Street. 19th. Yep, mm -hmm. same Cotterill. It's on the same road as Cotterill. Uh, and then the East Side Tower, which is there by the temple. Neither one of those towers in Tenney's tenure. 30 have, years. 30 years yeah. have had any pre uh, major maintenance to them. So we've done what we have to do as far as routine maintenance and keeping them up. So, you know, they're, they're in good shape as far as that goes. But... Over 80, 90 years, there, there's a lot of changes and things that need to be addressed. And whether that's paint inside and out, um, you know, for example, one, one thing we touched on at both town halls, the manhole coverings to get into the tank themselves, they're no longer OSHA compliant. Hmm. We cannot send our guys inside the tanks. So those modifications, we want to take care of both of those towers. You're looking at six to $700,000 a tower. Just for the water towers. Yeah. So you when you talk about 15 million bucks, it goes really fast. Real fast. And and what we've seen uh, as we talk about these other projects with inflation, <coughs> we, we, can't, <coughs> we can't get ahead of it. Yeah. We can't get ahead of it. So these five projects, um, our intent is to move as quickly as we can while these cost estimates are good. And that may mean some uh, forward financing. City Council will have to approve as a, as a separate measure. Um, but the intent is to get these projects rolling and have them done um, well before the end of that 15-year extension. Yeah. Another big one um, is that we've, we, we've talked about ADA accessibility with the sidewalks already, but there's a lot of uh, ADA issues inside the city, inside uh, the downtown area as well. Another kind of good example is American Legion building in that area. There's not a whole lot of ADA for, you know, veterans going to that. Sure. You know, that are and a lot of that, that facility is used a bunch. a bunch. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, so we kind of talked a lot about ADA. So that's a, a big part of it as well. Uh, another big part is uh, perhaps a new fire emergency medical service station, EMS station. Yes, yes. So first priority was water, um, second water and sewer. Yep. And second priority was the second fire and EMS station. The fire department has, again, we talk about public works a lot. The fire department, those guys, they, what they cover, this community is 20 square miles, approximately 20 square miles big, okay? Their EMS district 
is over 500 square miles. Mm -hmm. Their fire service district is over 100 and, 100 and a quarter square miles. To give you some perspective of how large that is, the city of Oklahoma City is 600 square miles. So a community of 20 square miles. How many stations does Oklahoma City have? <laughs> yeah, we stations. We, we don't want to start counting yeah. counting those. Yeah. Uh, the guys need a second fire and EMS station. We've looked at response times in South Guthrie. We've looked at access in South Guthrie. And we think that sooner in division in that corridor somewhere through there, uh, we've not secured a site at this point because we don't, we don't have a funding mechanism yep. at this point. So no money has been spent on this project. Um, the response times, even though their current station at 209 Springer is half the distance to Love's East, for example, they can get from Sooner and Division because of I-35 access, they can get to Love's East in a minute's less time. Yeah. And driving driving through the residential area, I mm. mean, you, you can't come out guns a blazing, right. um, you know, coming down broad. Uh, there's well, three thirty in the morning, you don't, you know, right? <laughs> wake people up. Well, right. and I thought Seth made a good point. Seth Robbins last night at the CIP uh, town hall when he brought up, you know, where his office is located on division. When fire units have to pull out and go left there if they're running up division, mm -hmm. you know, and, I, and we've all seen it. If you lived here any period of time, I mean, that's a safety hazard coming yes. into the busiest street. That we yeah. have in our community, or if not the busiest, it'd be 33, but right. one of the two busiest streets. Um, so I think there's a lot of reasons. I think the third reason is, is that would put them about 14 seconds from my front door, and there's a chance I'm going to need them at some point in the future. So <laughs> getting them there yeah. closer is big for me. You know, what, Se seconds count. Seconds yeah, count. That's right. And it, with the second fire station Tell in the egg. southern part of the city limits, I, I think a lot of people that live out near Guthrie Lake would really be interested in this because it would help their uh, insurance ratings because yep. the station is closer to them, not just people at the lake, but in that southern part of the city limits. So uh, besides the, the response time, but I, it would also help insurance-wise as well. Yes, yes. So ISO ratings, uh, we are fortunate. City of Guthrie, we are an ISO class two. Which is amazing. It's unheard of for yeah. a town our yeah. size. For Again, that speaks volumes to the, the quality of the staff that we have, yeah. the apparatus that we have access to, C investment from CIP number one. Um, again, as we continue to grow, that second station, that proximity, folks who live out by Guthrie Lake, for example, mm -hmm. That they don't have a station within five miles of their house. So Seth Robbins, Terra Insurance uh, Insure Group, yep. he says, Eddie, there are several companies that won't even won't even provide a quote Correct. for service out there. Yeah. And so having a station that much closer is is a big difference. Um, and for some people, that could be the difference between having homeowners insurance or not. When well, you think about all the new home construction that's going on, yeah. That, that, that's, I mean, right now that area out there is a 10, yeah. you know, the highest rating you have on an ISO is a 10. And if this happens, if, if, if the citizens come out and support this, and if it does pass and we're able to do these kind of things, you know, that 10 will go to probably an eight or an eight plus, which would be two to $300 a year savings on your homeowners. I mean, you know, it's real money for people. It's real money for people. Yeah. Another part that we kind of forget about that living in Guthrie, but the Guthrie firefighters also have to address accidents on I-35. Yeah. In a, a long stretch from one mile mark 147 to about 164, so 17 to 20 miles of highway coverage. And if, if it's in the southern part of the lim city limits, how much faster are they going to get to that accident on I-35 when you have more vehicles in higher speeds when seconds truly do matter there. So uh, we, for, we always talk about in-town emergencies, and but there's a lot on the highway in, the, in our area too. So that's always an important thing to remember. That's a great point. And again, location, location, location. Yeah. And, and so we've heard some concerns about a second station. What does that do to manpower? What does that do to our staffing issues? Well, we know we have a staffing issue uh, at the city of Guthrie. Fire, uh, fire and EMS. We're taking this elephant one bite at a time. Yeah. Okay, and so have to. we're we're undoing or we're working through. For no fault of anybody 
in the community or previous service, anything of that nature. But we're working through years of neglect for many different reasons. Yeah. And we're not only working through that in the fire department. We work through that. It's the reason we've got 55 miles of pre-1975 water line. Yeah. It's the hand we were dealt. It's the we hand we were dealt. Well, I, what I like about this is that we are dealing with it. We're taking it that first bite, right? Yeah. I guess in this case, the second bite. But, second bite, yeah. But we're taking the second bite. And, you know, I'm on the EMS board, and I can just tell you, Ronnie's really impressed by it. <laughs> um, but I, I'm just telling you that these firefighters are, we're squeezing everything out of them we can get. I mean, these guys and gals just work their tails off. Um, and, I, and you know, listen, with all the houses that are going to be built, the, the amount yeah. of calls aren't going to go down. Yeah. They're going to go up. <laughs> right. And so we'll have to address that at some point, obviously. Now, the good news is with more houses coming in, more people spending money, more revenue coming in. People need jobs. I mean, so it's yeah. all good, but it's just we're at that pain, that pain, pain stage, right, where it's, it's just hard. It's it's a lot like when you start a company. Man, the first few years aren't a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's a lot of pain involved. But there is a tipping point yep. that when you hit it, man, it's good. And you have all these great, beautiful things, whether it's infrastructure, quality of life, uh, fire and safety, uh, fire and police, I should say, whatever it may be. And it's not just the fire department's understaffed. Our staffs in the city, we get a lot out of every department because I think every department's understaffed. You know, and, and, and people are aware of it. They'd love to fix it. I know, I know you'd love to have the money to fix that, but it is what it is right now. It is, and we're working through it. Yeah. And, and again, that's that's why I say for every dollar, uh, we, we get $3 worth of value right. out of it. Right. And, and that doesn't just stop at the employees, right. you know. Uh, we've got great employees, and I will preach that as long as I'm here uh, which I plan to be here for a while. I hope so. So, so you know. So we're going to thump you in the head if you leave. Uh, I plan to be here. I hope I'm preaching Team Guthrie what for the next car? How long? F- car? five to ten years. How's five that? Five to ten years. Okay, we'll take that. Yeah. We'll take that. Yeah. We'll take that. Uh, so. so we've talked about water and sewer, number one on the community survey list. Number two uh, was the Guthrie, uh, Guthrie station, EMS station, fire station. Number three, we kind of talked a little bit about uh, the ADA accessibility within Guthrie and number four on that list was the was the pool. We kind of talked about that a little bit. <coughs> yeah. Is there anything you need to add to three and four? So with with the ADA projects, uh, again, this <coughs> tap project, this sidewalk project down division uh, is a great start yeah. uh, in that. Even though it's it's funded with some of um, CIP number one as well. So Correct. so. That's a great start. CIP number two, again, we're going to try to hit the intersections that impact the most people. Yep. And so uh, we're not sure what that looks like yet. Likely um, the downtown area? I, I would say where there are the most events. Yeah. Um, so whether that's Oklahoma and Wentz, mm-hmm. uh, whether that's Oklahoma and First. But it, in the downtown In area. the downtown, yeah. yep. And, and that's all subject to future council approval, future oversight committee approval. But the priority will be making sure that the sidewalks are, first, ADA accessible for mobility issues. Uh, second, for folks who are visually impaired. So, you know, um, I've, I've said this several times in the last couple of weeks, the ADA truncates. You know, it's a, at the end of the sidewalk, you see a, a plate that's got ribs on it. It lets you know that you're, you're getting close to the road. Right. Uh, so if you're, if you're blind and you're walking down the sidewalk, uh, that trunket is a signal that you're crossing into the street. You're off of the sidewalk. It's the little padded bubble thing. Yes. Yeah. 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 Do you have a picture there? Can you? I, I was looking I'm for it. To see it came okay. in clear. Yeah. But okay. I, I have to find it the other one. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's that's one example. And then uh, again, for folks who are visually impaired, an automated uh, voice activated yes. crosswalk. Oh. So. W- when you do enter the intersection, you, hey, you've got 20 seconds. You need to get out of the you need to get out of the street because the lights can turn green. So, as far as ADA projects go, the downtown core making sure they're accessible and welcoming for all. Awesome, pool. Uh, I you know there's been a lot of discussion. I don't want to uh, overlook it because it is number four on the community survey list. Uh, we you know, we we toured it we we swam it we you know we've done all as, as kids growing up here, it's a large pool and it, and we would love to have a nine million dollar pool but as you said this fifteen year 
extension of this tax would be about fifteen a million dollars a year, and you just can't build a nine million dollar pool when you have water sewer lines and ADA issues, big you know life and death with the EMS stations. So, uh, nine million dollar pool is not going to happen. But uh, what what can you say about the pool uh, when it comes to CIP two? So something the oversight committee, when they looked at this information, you guys may be able to speak to this better than I can. The pool, not only in the committee, but also in the community was one of the lowest ranking projects. Um, And really what it came down to is the pool is a quality of life feature. It's, It's something the community has had for 80 years and we're not willing to let that go. Does that mean we're going to build a $9 million pool? Absolutely not. Uh, However, there is some give and take in this situation. And perhaps we can look at some sort of retrofit of the pool or or maybe an aquatic feature of some other kind. I'm not saying we're putting a splash pad there, anything like that. Again, this all takes city council approval. So, uh, but in theory, it, it would be nice to say, let's retrofit the pool. Let's let's do what we can for a million bucks, million and a half. I think the oversight committee is willing to to go that far. Uh, I think city council is willing to go that far. Again, the possible future expansion after that, maybe. Correct. Phase it. Yeah, yeah. phase yeah. it. And and that's how we're we're doing every project. Yeah. Right. So the fire station, the same way. Yeah. You know, um, we would hope to put two firefighters down there to start. Uh, we're going to build it to house six. Um, as far as apparatus bay go, you know, we would need a minimum of two apparatus bay that's pulled through for the boat, for, uh, you know, another rescue, an ambulance, for everything out in, out in South Guthrie. But we're going to strategically place those things where we can blow out a wall and keep on keeping on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the pool, again, it's, it's going to be a scaled down version, whatever we can do. Um, best bang for the buck. That's the same thing what the school did with Charter Oak. They built the school, but a lot of people kind of forget that they can, they will, when they need to, or if if needed to, they can add on to that school yeah. as I well. I think they're at capacity now, aren't they? Well, Charter Oak what, are close. With, close. With the new school, yeah. 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 Charter's yeah. close. The next yeah. one. You know, yeah, and the, the, the pool one. was something that I was a hard no on, you know, and I, and I was on the CIP uh, committee, and in the first meeting, I think it was pretty clear I was a hard no on it. Yeah. But after going down and touring it, Hearing from Tenny, hearing from the staff, um, and and really thinking, hearing from other members of the CIP, talking to people in the community, I was really won over on that because I can get my arms around, you know, a scaled down version of something because it is a good quality of life um, feature that we need for our community, and and those things are important. But you know, I think that's that's what's good. I think what I've heard a lot of around the community is people being open. They're, they're open to having a, conversation. having a conversation about it, which that's where all healthy things start, right? Sure. And so I'm real bullish about about the water feature, pool, retro, whatever we end up doing. It's going to be something there for the citizens to enjoy, and that's the important thing. Yep, yep. And w- one of the key things that was communicated is swim lessons. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Children swim lessons in the summertime. That's where I learned how to swim was that Highland Park pool. Uh, me too. I took swimming <laughs> lessons there. Every morning it was cold, but we, was we, cold. we got through it. My dad threw me in a pond. <laughs> Once I got out of that gunny sack, I swam right to the bank. There you go. So, <laughs> so we've taken we've taken that into consideration, and uh, again, as this as this project moves forward, uh, m- the best bang for for the buck. Yeah, so, yeah. that's good. I, I will I will throw a curveball here. Okay, oh, yes, so what yes. what are we looking at? Uh, of course, April se- tu- <laughs> Tuesday's election will be very important moving forward with the pool, but you're not going to be able to do anything this summer with this tax. So, what's the game? Pl- is there, there might not even be a game plan here? And probably in conversations happening right now. Apologize, but hey, I have to throw one curveball. You can you can we'll take the curveball just, just kind of a change up all really day long curveball. chris yeah. all okay. day long change because up. uh if there's one thing you've learned about me by now i hope you know that i'm always prepared yes. and i'm yes. always transparent yeah. Yeah. Uh, so i've already been in conversations uh with edmund to to look at pelican bay again as a solution who for, have their own issues right now as well they've got their own issues right now as well um however i believe their council and staff uh they're not closing it for the summer I think that's where they're at. 
Um, they're they're assessing some of the the issues with Pelican Bay, and I think they're going to go another another season. Now, I'm not speaking on behalf of the city of Edmond. Just want to be clear. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we've got some great partners in, yep. in Edmond, and so from the airport to this pool situation. Uh, both the mayor and the city manager, uh, Scott Rigby, they have both been open to saying, hey, let's continue to work out a partnership until you can get a permanent solution. So yeah. so those conversations are ongoing. Um, we've not solidified that yet, um, but, but it, is, it is in place. Because it's, it's still, a <clears throat> still not a good situation with 40,000 gallons leaking per day in the lakes, not to the levels where right. we even want them to be. So right. there, you can't put the risk of day-to-day <coughs> right. -day use because right. of a pool. So right. we want to make sure to get that there. Okay. And then the fifth and final thing that was on the initial committee list was the expansion of Owen Field Sports Complex. And uh, city council and the citizens have already taken a big part of that in CIP 1. Yeah. And uh, there's more to come, hopefully, uh, if CIP 2 can pass on Tuesday. Owen Field <coughs> is one of the most exciting projects yeah. for the community. And communicating that to the community is that that's that is a difficult subject because the community has been told by the staff for the last four years that we've received a grant to build uh, you know, phase one a what we call phase one a of Owen Field and that's three new fields uh, softball baseball fields one field has lighting uh, concession restroom building there new parking lot, new entryway, et cetera. 2020, the staff wrote and received approval early of 2021, uh, the Land and Water Conservation Fund, $1 million matching grant, okay, 2020. Yep. So the city had a million dollars to match with that. Through the CIP project. Through the CIP, yep, through CIP number one. Because of Section 106 public comment review period, which is a federal, <laughs> federal requirement, um, unfortunately, that project <laughs> and all the other projects throughout Oklahoma and, this and all other projects throughout Oklahoma, this is not unique to Guthrie. That project was stalled until June of 2023. And in June of 2023, the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department, Parks and Parks and Tourism, they communicated to the city of Guthrie that uh, the feds have said, OK, it's been three years. Um, all entities who wanted to say something have had ample opportunity to do so. We're going to allow you to move forward. So we got the approval in June. It's been three years. Um, at that point, then we started design. We had a $2 million plan ready to go in 2021. $2 million plan ready to go. <laughs> We're going get nearly as much as we wanted. <laughs> you get to, yeah. get to June of 2023, <coughs> city engineer, public works staff, we look at the cost estimate, 3.6 million bucks. 3.6 million dollars. That's what we were talking about earlier. Inflation. 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 Every project we've seen has experienced these high. And that wasn't adding six more, more fields or adding no. more lines or no. more irrigation. This was the same project as presented. Same project as presented. So currently out for bid is the earthwork and uh, some site improvements for Owen Field. We'll be receiving those, I believe, April 9th at City Hall. City Council will consider that first award uh, second meeting in April. I believe it's April 16th. So something exciting, though, tomorrow at 11 o'clock. We're going to have the groundbreaking, ceremonial groundbreaking out there. We've got a project. It's finally come to fruition. Uh, again, we're using the overage. Um, so we had a million dollars there marked. So we're now at $2.6 million of local funds. So keep in mind, this was a $2 million project in 2020. It's now a nearly $4 million project. We, we've reduced on the budget because these funds have not been collected yet. Right. Keep, right. keep that in mind. Yeah. This, this tax goes all the way through 2031. Uh, so it's been allocated. It's been allocated. It hasn't been collected. Uh, so we've reduced on the budget the commitment to the industrial park. So there was a $4 million commitment of CIP dollars to the industrial park. and <coughs> Which is the 80 acres east of town, basically behind Love's. Yes. Truck yes. stop. Yep. So right now, we're focusing on the projects that we have in, have in play, right? So Owen Field is a higher priority today than the industrial park is. City Council has agreed to reduce um, the allocation to the industrial park by that amount. 
and uh, allocated to Owen Field. So, yeah, a, a big, a big, big thank you to uh, City Council for a matching the grant with a million dollars, right. and then going into that allocation to to be able to continue on with this project because. Uh, <clears throat> It's a project that has been talked about for decades and decades. And I, and I invite you to go to growingguthrie.com. There's a video on that. Coach Chapel and Seth Robbins do an outstanding job of talking about Owen Field. It's on there. And uh, it, it is something that is so important to uh, not only for our local businesses, but for our kids. I mean, they have something nice. I'll never forget it. My kid, we, we played in the flats, T-ball, but it was time to go play big boy baseball. We, we couldn't do it in Guthrie because of, of the fields. And I remember my my kid go, wow, they got dugouts and lights. I mean, it's the <laughs> smallest thing. It's the little thing. But, you know, Guthrie kids should have dugouts and lights. That's and, right. And they will. So uh, I, 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 it's a cool project. On the other side of it, it's going to bring other teams in, other uh from out of state, and they're going to go to a restaurant. Bring so money of all this, this will help bring in a little sales tax mm -hmm. dollars for we can have more water lines and add on to the pool. It's the one thing stuff. on the list that is a revenue yeah. generator. <laughs> yeah. I it mean, is. it is. Yeah. And, and that's no awesome. matter how much you put in the pool, the pool is going to lose twice right. that, maybe right. three times, maybe four times that. There's not a pool in America that's ever made money. Correct. And, and that's important. Keep in mind the, the financial side of me says, okay, any investment we make with sales tax dollars should be a return to the sales tax market, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but that's hard to do when you've got water and sewer right. issues. Now, we could make an argument that the infrastructure improvements will, you know, maybe not directly, but indirectly yeah, yeah, contribute yeah. back to that sales tax well, market. You can't be a town if you don't have water and sewer. Amen. That's <laughs> Amen. That's, number, that's why it's number one on the list. I mean, you know Amen. what I mean? I mean, it's yeah. like, I think that's a good return. Yep. Yep, I do too. <laughs> I do too. So, although it's not a direct, um, every yeah. project we have on there has been focused on returning those dollars back into the community and really trying to drive economic development in the community. Yeah. So um, yeah. look forward to it. Yeah, and again, I'm gonna pull up here on the on the site, it is growingguthrie.com. You got, you got your FAQs where you can contact if you have questions. Uh, the initiatives that we just talked about are, are, are over here on the left-hand side. There was a public meeting uh, at City of Guthrie. There was also one last night at the fire station. There is a, a video of that uh, if you wanna check that out. And uh, <clears throat> how will this tax rate change the extension, if the extension passes? Zero dollars. This is still going to be three quarters of a cent sales tax for the CIP. The only thing that will change instead of it sunsetting or expiring at the end of 2031, the year 2031, it would expire at the end of the year 2046. So there is a great website. And I talked about the videos. And a great job, uh, Caitlin Hinkle there. Uh, excuse me, Caitlin Hinkle Payne now. Uh, she did a great job talking about the pool. Coach Chapel and Seth Robbins did a great job uh, talking about the Owens Field. Eddie did okay on ADA over there. <laughs> and uh, Dane Lawson and Zeb Robbins did a fantastic job talking about the fire station. So they go into so much more, a little bit more detail, and uh, kind of bring it all together for that specific <laughs> thing that we, that we talked about. The ADA, the ADA video, uh, you get to see Phil really – the, oh, the, emotion, yeah, yeah. the emotion that Phil demonstrates uh, is, is it's, it's almost overwhelming. Well, and, and then you go watch Coach Chapel. Yeah, that was the whole thing. I mean, I, I'm sitting there, and of course, we all know and love Coach Chapel. And you talk about somebody speaking from the heart. You know, he said he was 27 years old when he became the baseball coach in Guthrie. He said, we've been talking about this since I was 27 years old. And I just turned 60, and we're still talking about yeah. it. And yeah. so it's time. And, so I, and, I, and I thought that was that was the key thing. My deal with ADA is I just have a personal story with my cousin Randy, who just I grew up that has some some uh, some physical uh, disabilities and and watching them struggle. And, and back and this isn't just a Guthrie problem, guys. We're, we're trying to address it. But what I look at as the community I grew up in, they're still trying to address it. You know, so the. It's a real thing. I think it's something you only think about if you, if you have a family member, if yourself's impacted. It's, it's not top of brain, and it really should be. You know, ADA compliance, quality of life features like Owen Field, like the pool, obvious infrastructure things that we need like our water and sewer and pumps, and, of course, providing our brave firefighters, the men and women that, that serve us every day with great facilities that they need. These are not luxury items. These are things that we need as a community. So... I just, I'm excited about CIP2 and, 
And I just want to, just last thing I'd say, I just want to encourage everybody to get out and vote. Yeah. It, uh, <clears throat> vote Tuesday, April 2nd, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. you got to be a registered voter, and you got to live within uh, the city limits. Yep. <clears throat> uh, just a few comments here real quick. I try to keep Eddie at one hour, so we got just a few minutes left with Eddie. <laughs> uh, Jeff Guthrie says, CEIP1 help us bring us to Guthrie, and we're excited to see CEIP continue the improvements. Yeah. Councilman Tracy Williams, excited about the possibility. Good job addressing the issue. Thank you. Uh, there was one, let's see, uh, o- o- Old Man. Oh, yeah. Old Man says, I'm a conservative as they come, but like Oliver Wendell Holmes said, taxes are the price we, play, we pay to live in a civilized society. Well, this is what I say. I don't complain about my utility bills. I don't care what they are because my home's warm or my home's cool. I don't complain about, complain about trash pickup. Because every Friday, somebody comes and hauls my crap away, <laughs> and I don't have to do it. And I grew up in the country, and we had to burn our own trash, and that, that was a duty that I inherited. Sure. So, but, you know, to have nice things, you got to spend money. You know, and I love this. We're not increasing taxes on anybody. We're extending it out. It allows people to do things that comes with the value of having longer periods of time of commitment. You can do things financially you just can't do any other way. Um, and I know you're a very humble man, and I appreciate that about you. Um, but I do want to tell you, I know how wonderful our staff is. You've done a tremendous job leading us through this process. It's been a real joy for me personally being on the committee. I know Chris would echo this. 12 months, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah When's so your actual official first day? April April 17th. April 17th. Okay. Okay. April 22nd. So, so you were close. You were close. <laughs> I started the Monday of 89ers week. So oh, welcome aboard. That's yeah. right. I remember first walking time I, the streets. First time I, he was walking the streets, yep. I went and shook his hand, and I and I, I well, actually I was teasing him because I I was teasing about how young he was. I think you called me junior. I, I said <laughs> this is exactly what I did. I saw him and I went I went come here. <laughs> or pup, young pup, young pup, yeah. young pup. Young pup. Yeah, he's been a city yeah. manager for Guthrie for one year. He's now an old man. Yeah, yeah. yeah the gray hair is is coming well, in. You know, if you're talking about still having hair, you're bragging if you're me. So just. <laughs> So April seventeenth. April seventeenth, wow. one year. Hey, and I wanna I wanna touch on something I said. So, uh, I've gotten a few texts since I mentioned the five to ten years uh, commitment. Uh, oh, yeah. I want to be clear. I love <laughs> commitment. That became a commitment. Yeah, I like that. Became a commitment. Yeah, it was a verbal. Those yeah, are non-binding, by the way. Do I hear twenty? Do I hear thirty? <laughs> I mean, we're playing your retirement party. You can't go anywhere. Yeah, well, hey, you, when you look at folks like Tenny Maker, Ken yeah. Biggs, yeah. the staff. Dane Lawson, as yeah. young as, as the fire chief is, he's been here 15 years. Yep. Yeah. You know, so um, Chief Don Swager, he's coming up on 10 years. 10 years. Wow. So mm-hmm. all, all of our staff, Shonda Rooney, uh, five, five years. years. Yeah. Yep. Justin Fortney, same thing. So we don't have a high turnover at the city, yeah. and I'm, I'm proud of that. Uh, but I do want to say, you know, I, I love the community to be a first time city manager. Guthrie has welcomed me with open arms. And, you know, being a first-time city manager, not only that, but because of my age, and and I was very forthcoming with that. You were. Said, hey, yeah. you know, when I get here. You said, I got to hurry up. I got to get the math class. <laughs> seventh, <laughs> seventh hour, I got to get the math class. <laughs> I, I, I said, listen, guys, um, you know, I'm a young fellow. Uh, so we, Guthrie took a chance on me, yeah. and, and I'm honored to be here. I enjoy being here. As long as this continues, I'd like to I'd like to remain here. Of course, council has to approve that. We we've got to work through that together. Yeah. Uh, so my, my political answer is I'm here as long as I have a contract. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I I try to remain as humble as possible, and well, I, I well, hope you guys see that. You're, you're, yeah, you're killing it. Absolutely, because Phil and I Phil and I we went to the town hall meeting at City of Guthrie and did a great job. It's on the video. You can watch that. And I, we left, and I don't know where we came here or yeah, something. Yeah, we were talking on And the, I was like, man, Eddie, he's just wise beyond, beyond his years. Beyond his years. Where does that <laughs> yeah. come from? And, and yeah. Phil said, you know, Michael Jordan can shoot a basketball, and Ryan Sandberg can hit a baseball. Eddie, was, you just got to be born with it. And that, that you are well, definitely gifted I, in that area. And I think you're gifted, but I also think, I know this, and I'm not going to share all your business, but I also, <laughs> your grandparents did a tremendous job raising you. Yes, sir. They really did. I mean, I... 
I, as a guy that I have kids older than you, my yeah. youngest is a year older than you. But <laughs> Kel's within six years. That's right. But <laughs> he ain't running. Can you imagine Kel being a city oh, manager? <laughs> Speed clean, limit. Get rid of those. Can he clean his own room? <laughs> but I, but I do want to say this. I, I've never had the honor of, of meeting any of your family yet. Hope I do at some point. But sure. but bring them down for the parade. But they've done yeah. an unbelievable job. And I know you have, is it two siblings or yep. three? Yep. Yeah, two yep. siblings. So brother and a sister. Yep. It, and, you know, I don't speak enough about my grandparents. Yep. I, I always give credit to uh, my former community. Yep. Of course, as you guys know, yep. Yep. I worked in my hometown. Everybody has, I'm so blessed because not only employees, employers, councils, staff, former city manager, uh, Katusa, John Blish, t- everybody I've I've been impacted by in some form or another has helped me grow and uh, this job for me is is about building relationships and that started it started with my grandparents what you see today is a result of my grandparents instilling in me uh, the core values and and the morals that that we live by so Um, well, you're killing it, my friend. Thank you. You're absolutely Thank killing you. it. Here's a couple of uh, suggestions uh, once we get there. Probably a couple. Of, oh, yeah, I like Chief this. Chief Guthrie, one. can we paint Home of the Blue Jays on HTO, H2O Towers? Uh, I'm sure there might be a City of Guthrie here. logo on there. Maybe both. Maybe, and the maybe other both. one, uh, Cousin Nate suggests that uh, we paint John Deere green. Well, Ronnie so has a suggestion. Those are Ronnie? your suggestions that Ronnie, you can Ronnie, Chris, and Phil. Ronnie, Chris, and Phil. Ronnie, oh. Chris. Second Banana Media can be right on the other side. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, look. Silas on the water tower. Silas on the water tower. Silas, Silas on welcome the water to Guthrie. Tower, so. Home of the Blue Jays. See, you can home, do it all. Home, home of the Blue Jays. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, Eddie, we will we'll try not to keep you uh, GF Guthrie. We it's can, over an hour. Get him out of here. I know we can. <laughs> Great job, Eddie. Keep it up. You. GF Guthrie says that. Uh, I don't remember this. Uh, Brittany, CEO Brittany, says we're honored to have you, Eddie. I'm lucky to work alongside yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. So those are some of we'll get those. I, I can't say it enough, guys. This community is unique. And uh, you, you'll hear me say it everywhere I go. Guthrie has welcomed me. Guthrie has been so good to me. Um, and in turn, you know, I do what I do because of the people. Yeah. I can drive down the road and see the work that I'm doing or the work that I'm not doing. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and for me, that's what it's all about. You guys, this community, uh, you make it worthwhile. So, so thank you for your your help. You're a good man, Eddie. Thanks for sharing the information. GrowmanGuthrie.com is the website for all those great questions. Um, if they're not on there, I guarantee Eddie will take your email or phone call at City Hall. Got some time to get your questions in. So Just Call him at 405-826-3000. <laughs> that's, uh, or you can go to the city website and get the real number there, yeah, too. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's 405-282-0496. Oh, oh that yeah. number changed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. All right. <laughs> well, we are going to take a 60-second timeout. We'll come back. Rep. Thank you, Eddie. Thank, Thank you, Eddie. guys. We got plenty more show. We're just going to say bye to Eddie real quick. Give us 60 seconds. I'll keep the people entertained. Blue's turned off. Blue's off. (laughs) Grant's been keeping. 
Did I get to 60? Oh, oh boy. What did, Grant, what did Grant get to? Oh, Grant. 50. Oh, he got to 50. Oh, I didn't. So, oh, there's the zero. So. That ain't good. That ain't good. All right. Hey, I got some stuff that I need to. Now, I need to talk about. Get off your chest? Yeah, I got two things Is it for me? sure. I mean, you're not mad at me, are you? No, no, oh, okay. no, no, no. There's a couple things that uh, one local, uh-huh. one national. Oh, national. I, you I, usually don't step I into know, the national. I know. I, I went. I, oh. I got some things I need to bring up. Eddie's gone, right? Yeah, Eddie's, Eddie's gone. gone. Vote yes. Yes. Vote, vote yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a no-brainer. It is a no-brainer. Goodness. Yes, Eddie's gone. All right, we weren't yeah. gonna we weren't gonna do that with Eddie here. It wouldn't no. be appropriate, but but uh, we'll say it again. Vote yes, vote please yes. vote yes. Vote as many times as you can. Just travel around the city. Just do you like going. water? Yeah. Do you like water? Do you like your toilet? Do you like to flush? flushing the toilet? You, when an, when you get sick or something, do you like well, an ambulance to come? Do you have a tummy ache? You got a tummy ache and feels. Got to get an ambulance come? running. That's right. And the, uh, but yes, uh, they're the, the, the uh, is it cold? Those are winners. Ronnie's gonna like this. Daddy's back. Take a drink out of the can though before you pour it in there. I don't know if they're it major topics, not taste the but same. they are top no, taste different. Chris got, he said he's coming, coming with stuff. Oh, Grant was doing a countdown. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I got in. I think I got in. Yeah, he, was, <laughs> he, was, he was working it. Uh, T. Fred wants to know who broke the ice machine. Okay. I'm sure it works. Okay. Well, now just turn it, turn it on. Phil, turn it off. Okay, I did not turn it off. It had to be you, Phil. It did not have to be me. There's other people in this Dave damn building. Dave would never do that. Oh, this is all a bunch of BS. You going to blame the security guy? City manager. Well, uh, he's questionable. <laughs> we need to have a board meeting on him. All right. I'm going to try it out of the can, Phil. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Put it up. Wait. Oh, so good. <laughs> it sounds like every it's pop so you open good. up. No. Is this a pop? Fresca is oh, the there's best. no calories in there. That's okay, an energy that's drink. That's good. It's <laughs> not an energy it's drink. Not, oh, it's so it's, good. It smells. Um, it's health food. That's healthy for you. That's good for you. It smells like um, grapefruit. Well, yeah. Yeah. Look at the front of the can. It says grapefruit. Oh, it does it? Yeah. Oh, damn sure. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that Fresca is courtesy of Mr. Seabolt and a Generation Church. Well, I don't think they pay money. Josh oh, Nicole. For it, but yeah. he's associated with Generation Church. He's the leader of Generation Church. We appreciate you. Wait, wait, wait Chris. Reaction. Oh, it's way better out of Isn't a can. Isn't it better out of a so can? So much better out of it's a can. So much better it's out of a can. Better. Oh, it's way better yeah, out of a can. Yeah. See, this is what I've been talking about. I mean, the aftertaste still sucks, but it tastes Whoa, yeah, great. I just noticed something. Holy smokes. Tell the people what year was established. 1966. Oh, boy. Greatest year ever. Me and Fresca were born the same year. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just now hearing about Fresca. 50, almost 58 years. Going First time home. you heard about Fresca. The aftertaste is horrible. Still terrible. It's only but certain, the, it's but only the initial good at taste times. is amazing. It's, it's only good at certain times. What are we well, talking oh, about? Yeah. Are we talking no. about Fresco or Phil? Oh, well, that's <laughs> <laughs> so it's loud when you get it going. Yeah, no, no, there you go. Yeah. Like the aftertaste not in your tongue and your mouth. Yeah, it's, sometimes it's still you talk not good. You leave it's with still an aftertaste. Not good. Yeah, yeah. What I'll tell you, the best time for Fresca, a hot summer day, ice cold Fresca, right? With a little bit of vodka, or so I've been told. Tito. Tito. I wonder if uh, the sheriff's still here. No, boy. Because I have uh, one thing that would... I didn't really miss Ronnie, the sheriff, but... Ronnie called it on Harrison, didn't he? He did. I told Good you job, guys. Ronnie. I wasn't fooling. I'm not going to doubt you for another five you minutes. You guys, all three of you guys are like, no, it's not. <laughs> it literally just had to open. I don't know. We because, did that well. Way, that's but... why I took it. Oh, okay. No. Well, that's, <laughs> that's my story, Phil. Oh, I got it. It's your story. <laughs> you know how this goes. It's your story. You can tell it the way you want. Yeah, it definitely just opened. I literally just drove down there, and there was a there was no there was no road signs. There's no nothing. A car was turned left. Did cut me off. I made that part up, but people are people on Facebook are losing their mind. Be you ready for what they're losing their mind on this one? Yeah, what is it? Okay, I'm gonna pull up a photo. Okay, okay, they're losing their mind because now there's a curb. Yes. Uh, yes. There's a curb that now you can't pull into yes. the long, yes. long, long driveway. The I had, say, I had the same question. I didn't lose my mind, but I was, I was wondering. I said, I bet people are going to get so upset that they Why? can't pull in there and just pull out. Why does it make them mad? There's a driveway right there they just added. No, it used to be all the way open. No, I know what through. it used to be. It was also crazy. You see people park 19 different Correct. directions. Yeah, and- yeah. Why, why is anybody mad about that? Oh, no. It, it's, it's awesome. It, you know what? This falls under the category of, you ain't got no real problems if that's bothering you. Yeah, no. It, I mean, that's crazy. No, it's... it's you tell us, too, we're working here? I'm trying to. Just, 
goodness. It's their little date. I let them do their own Seriously. thing. Seriously. Oh, Phil's going like, to get in the middle of it now. Well, I've been asked to contribute money to something. Oh. <laughs> Freaking out. It, it's not. You, How much is it? it? It's, that's exactly it, it, no, what no, I'm no, no, no. It's tough being his friend. <laughs> oh, I used to tell everybody it was tough being my friend. Try being Eric Little's friend. <laughs> Sheemany. Sebo says Ronnie's drinking a Fresca. Nine, oh, it's so good. Nine. It's the the so very good. beginning taste tastes great. The rest of it still stinks. No, it doesn't. Don't it's do my that. Opinion. But you're, but you're not being truthful. You know you enjoy it a little bit. I did enjoy it. You know, you see you, my face when I took a drink of it? But you stop with that. You don't have to keep going. Well, I'm just like, Eddie, I'm transparent. You're not a food critic. Oh, I am too. You got to see my face. Sure he can be. Well, he can be. Smoke foods. Yes. Oh, 65K per year, Phil. How much? 65K per year. Oh. For that. How many people? Uh, one person. Mm. All right, Grant. Him, Grant's been texting me. He's ready for some. He's got topics. He's ready to talk. Grant. Grant is. He's ready to go. Well, can Chris go with his topic? Let yet? me get mine in here real yeah. quick. And I, I got this video. The sent us. Uh, had a, moved on to the federal. Just and it has nothing to do with federal. This is. It does a little bit just to show you how crazy New York and California is. Oh, okay. okay. I, how you I need any more proof? But go I ahead. thought he was going to yeah. talk about something else, but. Uh, uh, talking about squatters' rights. <coughs> oh, squatters' yeah, this, rights. This have, have you heard about this? Yeah, it's insane. Squatters', it's squatters insane. right? Squatters' they rights. They got more rights than the homeowners. Yeah, you, like squatters, like the homeless people who do in the like poo -poo a, town. Like there's a build. Looks like there's a house somebody's remodeling, or they or they've okay. got it up for sale. Or, or you you go to Michigan for your townhouse, right, or whatever, back. and you come back. Oh, to pay taxes. No, people just move in. No, listen. Okay, here it is. Let's move in. No, here, no, that's right. Here it is. And it's not real long. It's not real long, but just listen to this part here. And I usually don't do this, but this just, it's my, I I don't know this kind of thing exists in this world, much less the United You're States. You're doing your little bubble here in Guthrie. Yeah, my, my little bubble. I'm like. Oh. I like my bubble. Check this out. Hopefully the audio works. He's going to talk a little bit about why we're here. So we're, we're here today because. You know, you assume in America, uh, if you uh, purchase a home and own a residence, that that's your residence. That if you happen to maybe split time in Orlando and Michigan, that if you go to Michigan over the summer, people aren't going to be able to just move into your house and then claim squatters' rights on your private residence. And yet, in places like New York and California, that's exactly what's happening in this country. Homes are being invaded. Uh, and those states and their laws are not siding with the homeowners, they're siding with the squatters. Uh, in fact, we uh, have seen squatters move in and claim residence. Uh, this forces a massive, <coughs> long, drawn out judicial review before they can even be removed from the property. These are people that never had a right to be in the property to begin with. Uh, earlier this month in New York, a woman returned to a property she inherited to find squatters living there. She changed the locks to get them out, and the state of New York arrested her, her. instead of the squatters. Okay. Uh, just a few days ago, two squatters in New York City allegedly murdered the property owner when she confronted them for I being in her apartment illegally. In fact, we even have illegal aliens taking to social media, instructing other foreigners how to come into this country and commandeer property they have gotten involved in this well today in the state so now florida has to make a law to protect homeowners. <laughs> florida <laughs> you have to have a law to do okay, that first of all there's already a law in books it's called trespassing yes <laughs> i mean good well, god where, where every does state that come from? Has how is that uh, how is that able to go on it's freaking stupid <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure it has to be true i don't think a governor would just come out and no, say it's that true. i've read i've been hearing about this for the last few weeks today you no, get what you vote for people sorry i feel bad for you get what you vote for voting has consequences <laughs> that's right blew my mind when i heard that today luckily it was on a wednesday well, fresh I'll tell you this, there's zero chance of me ever spending a dollar ever in the rest of my life in California or New York City. There's zero chance. I haven't been to New York yet. There's I, zero chance. I, 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 Why would you want to go there? Yankees, Mets. We got, we got the stadium. Yeah, we You're going to get murdered on the way. They're probably, It'll be yeah. day game. I mean, it's just, they don't care. Oh, they don't? They'll kill you in broad day. They don't oh. care. They have, they have police shortages in New York. They have police shortages in L.A. I wonder if the squatters that killed the homeowner even got arrested for that in New York. Just, but, but you're right, Chris. It's absolutely insane. That's it's absolutely insane. I, my little, I, I live in a great state. I, 
listen, there's some things that are kind no of no doubt. But compared to that, squatters' rights. It would take literally one. Right. This is what would happen if you had a rental property in Guthrie, Oklahoma, and somebody was moved in there. There's some random person just went in the house. It'd take one phone call to our city police department or our county sheriff, and yeah. they would immediately be removed. Immediately, there wouldn't be none of this squatters' rights BS. Yeah, I'd call Double D. It'd be taken care of. No, no Damon Duro. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, so that, that's one thing that's on my mind. I, uh, do we need to get to grants or do yeah, we? Yeah, we probably. We well, got more. No, I got one more. Oh. Let's go to it. I got one more. Hold get on, him, Grant. Get him ready, Grant. Grant, hold so on. We we've talked about the the new fairgrounds in Oklahoma City, the new Oklahoma City fairgrounds. Yeah. Oh, we have. Yeah, yeah on the, they're opening in March 2025. Oh yeah, the state basketball oh, yeah. tournament. The new state wrestling more, tournament. Is this something called Jim Nork? No, it's not called Jim Nork. What about the Nork family? Well, I know. That's, that's well, it, they serve their purpose. Move on. Yeah. Well, that's not very good. They ha- yeah. That's, talk about that last That time. is a last tough deal because I don't want to bring in another. You can't call Jim Norick. Can he call Jim Norick floor at least or something? Or? Maybe. Maybe. He need to do something. That's that's jacked up because he gave money. Didn't he give money to make that? Well, was, well he was that's, the mayor. That's well, he was the mayor? Yeah. Oh, now get him out of there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Term limits. Start, politician. Term limits. Term limits. He'll start the MAPS project. Yeah. Well, no, that's Whatever. important. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Ronnie said, on. play the guy. I thought yeah, it was some just things. independent guy that made a nice donation. So you haven't heard the news today on the, it's it's, <laughs> it's not an arena. It's it's called the it's a, a Coliseum. Oh, it's called Coliseum. It's a Coliseum. But have you heard who got the naming rights today? Ooh. Okay. Oh, do we get to guess? Yeah, guess. Okay. AT and T. Uh, no. Verizon. No. Paycom. I would have no problems with any of those. Paycom. No, no, I wouldn't have any problem with that. Ford. I would have a problem with that. No. GMC. It's no. gonna be none of those. Okay. This is a bad one. Yo, I think. I. You, you don't like it. No, I don't like. Okay. It. Okay. No. Get, tell us. No, no, no. Don't tell us. Well, this is fun. Well, we got. We, it's seven fifty four. Well, you the guys who want the. You got. We got the guests on now. Now it's our turn. Well, Okay, um, Grant's waiting. Let's go. Um, uh, uh, I don't know. Go ahead and tell us. Ready? Oh, I'm going to pull a picture. Here it is. OG&E. OG&E Coliseum. After they raise all the rates and everything? A 10-year. I don't know, the, I don't know how well, much it is. Well, they have enough money now to, to sponsor that kind but of stuff. But it's a 10-year deal. The OG&E Coliseum. That's terrible. So they have enough money to put a name for 10 but years we gotta on a building. But we got to get a rate increase. But we have to get a rate increase. That means they're making too much money to have extra money for you that. Know, that guy comes in coffee. I'm going to have a conversation with him. Okay, how about this? So, sorry, Grant. Hold on. Well, how about this? We just found out. Tell the people about what our our beautiful state legislators, our, our representatives, tell them what they voted. Well, hold on. Well, I thought we were talking about this. Yeah. Well, I thought we were over this. No, no, no. Oh, we got to vent some more. We got to yeah. vent some more. Yeah. That's what? terrible. I do have power, though, to my house. It's better than candles. Well, shouldn't you? I told you you guys should have voted like no it's, like me the other day. That was. Instead of 150 bucks, you, you probably get away with a, with $95. Yeah. yeah. All that extra money is going for I, yeah. stuff like fluff. I, I get it all fluff. out. I agree. This get it is all fluff. out. fluff. No, I agree. Get it all out. Say the bad word. Say BS. Say it. Say the bad word. Say it. No, I'm just telling you how that is bad. It's, it bad. Does, it's bull. It, it's bull what? Honky. 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 Bull we'll, honky. We'll go with that. That's close that enough. Is close enough. <laughs> wasted for money. For Chris Cuss twice since I've known him. Yeah, they could save all that money and put it back to the people. No, I agree with you. That's that's stupid. I don't like that at all. I don't it's like, like a that. monopoly. Well, it is a monopoly. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, Edmund has their own power, and Stillwater has their own power. Well, can we can't do that? It takes a lot of money in the yeah, infrastructure. You gotta, you gotta have more than twenty-seven dollars. <laughs> yeah. Well, I voted. I voted no. <laughs> I voted no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Grant said that was one of mine. So we we're, we're so Grant. Do you? Uh, uh, I can't even talk right now. You're so You're that upset about yes, this? That's, that's terrible. No, no, I'm with you yes. on that. That's. So you don't mind what you don't mind that there's political hostage taking all over America. I can't control that. Person, you can't. can't control this either. I know, but I at least have a, a say in Oklahoma. I don't. No, you don't. Anything. You don't who, have a say. Who, who can you write a letter to? What? Write all the damn letters you want. It's up there. How big, not yet. How big of a check not yet. They write? I don't know. It's not conveniently. It's not in there. It's a ten year deal though. Even if it's a million I, dollars a year, I I Chad, a million dollars Chad a Richardson needs to outbid him right now. He needs his name on more stuff anyway. Yeah, it blew my mind when I saw that today. Oh, boy. Jesus. Seven's at it again. It's not, oh, you're next. This is how it happens. No. <laughs> <coughs> oh, 
Let me know what we can go on. That's terrible. That is terrible. I don't like no, it. No, I don't like it. All right. Grant, what do you got? Oh, never mind. I guess Phil doesn't get to share. No, nope. go ahead. Go ahead. Right. No, no, no. Yeah. Grant, go ahead. Guess first. Um Yeah. So Yeah, that's kind of crup crammy. Crammy cruppy. Clammy. Clammy, call me, call me, call me Johnson, Johnson. I, Swanson, the corporation Swanson. Com- well, I guess it's not the, in the hands of the Corporation Commission. Yeah, I like the explanation on that one. <sighs> exactly. Leslie says, might as well call it Waste Connection Coliseum. Well, at least Waste Connection is their, their business. I mean, they got blue, they got blue trash cans, though. They do have blue. I, like yeah, blue. I just realized I was on the CIP committee and I didn't push for, for green trash cans. I could have changed that whole thing. Sorry, yeah. Sorry Joe. Where are the Blue Jays? Blue, blue trash cans work. Easier to they look terrible. Greg says, well, they could put Fairchild's name on it. I got to tell oh you. <laughs> oh, Max? Ma- Max? I- Mad Max Coliseum? That sounds good. I think Fairchild leave Coliseum? Probably leave the mad part off. I think Max oh. has done a good job in town. I do, too. He's, he's helped save a lot of buildings. We would like to have things done within the f- two weeks, but things do take time. It takes yeah. a lot of money. Well, I know the Fremont Creamy, the, the former it Looks amazing. Alley, Looks amazing because, and it took a little while because windows were back. Even my yeah. house, we got new windows, and it took it was like three months out. So I can only imagine those type of windows. But I think he's done a good job uh, with a lot of buildings in town. So, uh, GF Guthrie seconds the green trash cans. Uh, T Fred, T Fred Coliseum. See, I would love that. I, I, I'd, I'd be behind I, I'd that. I would get the ribbon that. cutting. I'd, I'd get be, behind I'd that. I could vote for that. Yeah. Basketball guy. Oh yeah, it's yeah. a no brainer. I, I, I need to get on the. That. We need to get on the committee. It's too late. It's already been done. Oh, yeah. 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 We got overlooked on that one. OG&E Coliseum. Are you going to talk about Are you going to talk about what our state legislators did today? Well, it was a committee. Okay, the what's Senate the com- committee. What's the they're house trying to the do? house passed it. Yeah. So now the house bills go to the Senate and the Senate bills go to oh, the house. Oh, it's going to pass. It'll pass. Think so? Oh, yeah. What is it? It's going, Chris. So the house has already approved a 4.3 million dollar Arch and amphitheater at the Capitol. What? Four point three million. What was my representative vote on this? Uh, yes, he voted yes. I've yes. already asked for a refund <laughs> on my contributions. Yes. Did I not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. I, I I called. I, I put him in a text today. It's bad. And he man. was defending it still. Well, and we called that at lunch for whenever we put him in the text. Oh, I told you. Yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness, it didn't take long. No, why they frame it? It's to honor the National Guard. National Guard. As well, somebody put that in so they'd have no they crap. Could say that to us when we say, "Why did you spend four point some million dollars?" Oh, on three. That didn't take him long, did it? A hundred seat that amphitheater. To everybody. A hundred seat amphitheater. Hundred seats. Hundred seats. Four point six million. Well, four point three. If you really want to honor the National Guard, wait a second. Send them that in pay raises. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Send them that in bonuses. Send it to the VA. No, no, National Guard, because oh. it's the National Guard. But send it to the National Guard in the form of a bonus. Yeah. If you really want to honor them. Yeah. 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 Or getting your name on something, don't pay bills. And I understand that that, that funding is in this allocated area, but could you imagine how $4.3 million would go on rural roads? Oh. Not very far, but more than an amphitheater. On the grounds It'd of the get you capital, half roundabout. Get you something, a whole lot more in transportation. Like like the Governor Jay Kev uh, says, Jay, Governor Kevin Stitt, just because government has the money doesn't mean you have to spend it. That's why he's saying if we have all this money, the government's going to spend it. This is an example of having money. You know, well, let's, let's spend it. We got money. Let's do it. We got money. Let's do it. Very disappointed in my representative right now. Yeah. Yeah. Forty six thousand dollars per seat, Gia Guthrie. <laughs> there you go. The uh, insane. the uh, the one person who voted no in the Senate committee, Nathan Dom, Senator Nathan Dom. He gets my vote. <laughs> He's term limited out this year, but yeah. Crap. Can yeah. can you run for governor? Uh, yeah, if you well, wanted to. Well, anybody can run for governor. You can run for governor, Ronnie. Well, I'm not ready yet. Oh, okay. I need two more years. Yeah, 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 more yeah. grooming. Okay. I need to get on a couple committees here in town. Okay, good. A seat X size four. I need to be on. Um, <coughs> we are going to get to the bracket here in a second. Build up oh. to that. Oh, who's winning that? Right, by the way, yeah, we'll, we'll not look, me. We'll look that up. <laughs> Who has a really good chance? Perhaps uh, if Houston doesn't win it, there's there's some, usually what happens in the last couple of years anyway. Someone around the eight nine spot Comes because yeah, they had that one the champion, one team. The one team. It's all yeah. about, that happened every year except the year I won. It's all right? about the, it's all about the Leslie final four. won on the very last day last yeah, year, it's remember? It's all about the Final Four yeah, and winning is. that last game because yep. yep. it's so many points that yep. last. So, uh, 
Well, uh, before we get into some other, uh, let's see here. Uh, Grant, okay, Grant brought it up. Good. I don't, I'm not the one who brings this up then. That's good. Uh, we'll get the brackets in a second. No, let me forget. Let me pull up the bracket here right now so I don't forget. Um, Grant says, will there be a new champion 5A football with the quarterback moving out? Hell no. no. Absolutely not. So I could go run the quarterback position. They're going to win. All I got to do is hand the ball. So no, the, the portal is in full effect at Carl Howard. Don't so worry. They'll so, find their quarterback. It sounds like it was Ficklin, a, maybe. Adam Skogie might come over. Grant's got a lot on his mind. No, no it sounds like, <laughs> hold on, one thing at a time. It sounds like uh, it was not a bona fide move, right? Mama never moved up here. Well, and that's, that's when I found out, that's why I called Grant and I asked him. I said, dude, does this have anything to do with what that announcer said on the OSA Awards? <laughs> oh, his mom, his mom never actually moved down here. He's, she has to drive back and forth. She has to drive back and forth because she's working in Fort Worth. And that way, like, wait a minute. So red flags went everywhere. I'm like, wait a minute. Was this even a bona fide mood? Look, so I don't know if it had to do with, hey, look, Sperry, you're ineligible this year because you didn't make a bona fide move. So he's like, okay, I'm just going to go to Guyer then. You know, was well, it was something line, like that? That's the exact thing they accused them. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, same thing. Way worse. I mean, this, because there was furniture in the house. Because there was furniture in the house, and it was stupid. This is what he did is 10 times worse If with his, with his mom. She was lived. actually sleeping there. She was sleeping yes. there yeah. and living there. Wow. So I wonder if that had anything to do with it. You know? Yeah. It had to. Yeah. No, so, but the court the, the, they'll they'll find their quarterback. Oh, they're, they're, well, they're, they're, January they're, they're, January second, they'll announce a new quarterback. They're going to win their four hundred eighty seventh five eighty six. So I saw. So I, I, I did a little <laughs> research on this, and I, I guess Carl Albert, there's a Collier. I think there's a remember the linebacker East twenty twenty seven Clark kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's, yeah I think he, there's his family has gone through Carl Albert. So does Carl Albert? You know the portal opens. Pay, the portal paperwork begins. July, July 1 first, yep. through July 15th. And just because... Oh, I'm a Blue Jay for life. Okay. And just because you don't have... You can file the paperwork on July 1 and say X school can't accept you right now in August 1st, but then an opening comes open on August 20th. That paperwork from July still gets you in there. So you got to do your paperwork in July. So... Carl Albert's gonna have to go in the portal if they don't, unless they think the young oh, guy. No, no, they'll they'll so get the portal. So does Carl Albert go in the portal, or do the kids come to Carl Albert? Kids go to, to Carl, Carl Albert. Albert. Yeah. yeah, they 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 will have options. Trust me, they will have options. I'm not gonna say the kid's name, but we've talked about this. There's a two sports stud that's given that serious yeah. consideration. Yeah. You know, and they do win, but the facilities aren't. I mean, you can go to yeah. a lot of places that have yeah. way yeah. better facilities. Yeah. And I wonder with oh, you got me going. <laughs> I wonder with. Uh, Kevin Sperry Jr., if he wanted to throw the ball a little more. When you're playing 5A2 teams, you're not going to be able to throw the balls as much because the games, especially when you have Xavier Robson running the ball, but I think he wanted to throw the ball a whole lot more besides his parents not having to travel every week up to the game. That yeah. probably helps. So he was living up here with another family? His dad. Dad. So his dad moved up here. Uh huh. Mom's still, Mom was still, Mom working was still down there. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, that's not good. That's not a bona fide move. That's not a bona fide move. <laughs> Could not that a ultimately move. cost Carl Albert a state championship if they played an ineligible player for all the games? I'm sure. I, I doubt. I, I mean, mean, they try to they try to well, forfeit. I mean, yeah, I they know. Try to forfeit, rule, I know. They, they I, try to forfeit the entire Blue Jays undefeated season that year. That's right. Did. So, by rule, that's the rule. They should vacate it. <laughs> at least have discussions wow. about least, it, right? At least talk about it. Yeah, that's a hot potato. Anderson Collier, thank you. Thank you, Grant. That's his name. Oh, Grady Addison? What he might move, go? What if he goes over to Carl Albert, Deer Creek kid? He's got a got off from Georgia Tech yesterday or today. He's going to throw the ball a lot more, Carl Albert. Yeah, but, yeah. I think so. And if or, you're, you know, and that's the that's what was the I mean, weird thing Creek, about I mean, Kevin Sperry is he went to Carl Albert. If you want, I you know, if you want to be against the best, like he's going to have at Geyer, why didn't he go to? Jinx or Union or Chuck no, Talks and, that, and that's really and that's what I'm saying. It, it, to get these there. kids yeah. say they want to they want to play the best or they want to win oh, a state yeah, championship. Further, yeah, you can't go to Tulsa. It's yeah. another hour and a half drive. You want to go. You want right. to go to you want to you want to win state championships or or you say you want to play with, with, with the bet against the best. Then don't go to Carl Robert. Go to a, go to a Guthrie to play kids against Carl Robert. Then you can really show your stuff. That's true. Or if, go to Broken Arrow That's and true. go play Union and Jinx. So and and really, facilities, I can tell you. No, not because. Yeah, absolutely not. But yeah, I mean, Ooh. if you want to prove yourself, play against those teams. I'll be darned. Ooh, yeah, that's 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 frustrating. It's probably going to get worse. Someone goes, 
I, it was kind of cool. Someone goes, you guys, you guys getting ready to do your uh, football previews again? Those are really fun. I can't remember who said that to me. I was like, yeah, we got to wait till middle of August to see what the rosters yeah. are. <laughs> <to see> who's, <laughs> we do. To see who's and I, and I told you guys last year, I said, schools now need to provide a roster to, to, the, to the talent and to the sportscasters and to the radio people of – where they came from. Yep. Just just like in any college football game, you hear those guys talking about, oh, there's a tackle by so-and-so who transferred from Clemson or, you know, yeah. transfer from Florida State. Clemson, it's Clemson. every yeah. single player. Yeah. And high school is going to be no different. So we're going to need rosters of where these kids came from. <laughs> I still think schools like ours, like where we live here in Guthrie, you know, we're not going to get those th- four-star guys that are going to want to transfer here. We're going to get kids that play it. And I'm just going to throw these out as examples, right? Small, I'll just say smaller schools yeah. that think they're better than the small school, so they want to go to what's the closest place. Well, you can go to Guthrie. They're 5A. I think we're going to get those kind of kids. And I think we're going to lose kids. We already have, but now I think we'll lose kids for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. And I think we'll also lose some kids that, that go to smaller schools because they're not getting to play. Carl Albert, I, you I know, think there's, there's always this back and forth on private school, and private schools do have some advantages uh, on, on type of. But Carl Albert has the entire Middale School <laughs> District that they can bring in. Chaltal is just across that line; it's not a big move. Which now it's going to be easy next year because now they can transfer without you, know, you can go to Chaltal and transfer to Carl Albert without having to move now. Yeah. And Shawnee's, you know, you can Edmund Shawnee. schools. You're going to see a lot of transfers around there. Yeah, I, of course, schools got to have space, but I think they'll find spaces. Yeah. But you're on a four four; there'll be space. It's just frustrating. <laughs> you have a you have a quarterback at Southeast is junior year then he's the quarterback at mustang his senior year and then the next semester he's the point guard for another at, at, at another ba- yeah to play basketball like nickens he was football player at millwood oh, I hate turns that. around and he's at douglas yeah. playing basketball yeah. and he's gonna be somewhere else to play football he's next gonna, fall yes the img academy is what i'm hearing img's up there and he de- he decommits from ou which yep. i think ou's like that's, i think, yeah. I think it yeah. might have yeah. been a plus yeah, yeah. that's good yeah, yeah. And, and again venables he, he does not like. He does not time. like. He does. He does not like recruiting kids who are already transferring in high school. Like, like Correct. he hates that. You know, from what I from what I, from what I read, and everything so like that. It's an indicator what they're going to do. In college. It's exactly, exactly right. Yeah, exactly I mean, right. I'm sure, Sperry had to have that conversation. Yeah, yeah. Sperry had to have a real good conversation in order for that. To do. Well, I'm not convinced <laughs> he's still going to end up at OU. And I'll go ahead and say this: I don't think he ever gets on the field at OU anyway. I don't know. I, I, I seen him again, twice. He tweeted year. out again today and talked about OU DNA. So I mean, he seems to be in right now. So but I, don't I don't think know. he's good enough to get on the field at OU. Well, again, he didn't get to pass a whole lot last year to be right. on Carl Roberts. So right. we really get to see it. Oh, no, he's got a lively arm. Obviously, he does that. have. He does you have. Tell that. Yeah, yeah, great composure. Obviously, yeah. in that last play against the Blue Jays. Yeah, he set so, it yeah. up great. Yeah, yeah no, so, doubt. I mean, no doubt. No uh, doubt. Let's see here. Grant has also brought up the. Uh, the vessel that went to the, the Fran- boat? Francis Scott Key. Jesus. Yep. That thing dropped. What a tragedy, man. Obviously, the, it lost power. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just such a tragedy. Yeah, it's, it's like almost two miles long, that bridge. Yeah. It's pretty long. Can you imagine being on that? On the bridge? Yeah, and just that split second. We, well, you remember what how it happened out of 40? Same yeah. thing, yeah. kind of same thing there. There's construction workers fixing potholes, and then yeah. boom. It's gone. Gone. One mm-hmm. guy survived. It's crazy. How scary. It's a 185-foot drop. That one survivor, that's that's a miracle. Yeah, it really is. It's truly a miracle. Yeah. That's crazy. And very likely it was 1.30 in the morning. 1.30 in the afternoon, there's... Usually that bridge is packed. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine if they have 9 o'clock traffic? Hundreds of cars? If not, th- yeah. If not, you know... If not, well, yeah, probably... Well, maybe thousands. Could be. Yeah. 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 I'm thinking mid-500, 600 probably on, yeah. on a busy day. <laughs> like a two-mile... What's the name one, of the bridge? Francis Scott Key. Baltimore. In the uh, harbor, so you know, freight uh, is a worldwide. Yeah, that was harbor. a storage container uh, boat that yeah. knocked it down. It was I like, mean, I mean, it, it dropped quicker than Vince Young in that bar fight this weekend. That's <laughs> all. <saw> that. <laughs> Did you see the video of that? It happened a couple months ago. Oh, was it? The video just now Again, came out. People were like, "Oh, he just got knocked out." Well, that's what happens when you're when you're forty some years old and you go to bar. All right. Yeah, yeah. He, he did get knocked out. <laughs> he dropped like he a sure. sack of potatoes, didn't he? He <laughs> sure did. I yelled, well, "Boomer!" I yelled, "Francis Scott!" Francis Scott Key. I yelled, "Boomer!" when he went down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Boomer! <laughs> You know who Francis Scott Key is? Yeah, I do. Okay, all right. He's the guy who invented light bulb, right? No. Sailboat. Oh, sailboat. Okay. <laughs> You're way off. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Uh, what are you looking up there? I'm trying to see if I can get an average traffic count on the bridge. 
Oh, it's huge. It's one of the main 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 roads. I think I heard on the news earlier. I think they said it was over. It was it was a thousand or better. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Well, way more than that per well, day. Well, but I'm saying on the bridge at any one time during. Oh, the day, oh, okay. You know, yeah, going both ways. Mm-hmm. Bridge uh, that long, you could definitely accommodate that many. Yeah, yeah. Four lane or two lane? Scary deal. I don't know. I don't know that. Don't know that. Because we had big news that day. And then, obviously, this did, over, over did came, he did it? <laughs> this overcome did it by a whole lot. Did he overcame did it? Him. Yeah, P Diddy, Sean did Combs. Did yes, he did it. Where is Diddy? Has any news came out? They raided his house. They raided his house. Did any information come from that since then? After the raid, I don't know. I don't. I, know. I, 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 I don't. Either. I didn't. It's it's no surprise to me that a famous person is, is in this kind of stuff. I mean, it's all the time. And it's people, everywhere. And people just turn their heads, and nobody wants to. Nobody seems to care about it. So. I'd go to prison if you victimize somebody I love like that. Yeah, I'd go to pr- I would go to prison. <laughs> yeah, there's it's crazy how this just continues yeah. to happen, happen, and happen, and like there's nothing. Well, there's nothing that ever comes out of it for yeah. obvious reasons, yeah. right? Because the people who are doing it, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all aware of it. Yeah, I just now saw Leslie's OG and E bill. I think that's what she's talking about. Yeah. Went up thirty dollars this month. Started at eighty, she said. Well, it's getting ready to go up again. They got to pay for the naming rights for the Coliseum. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that's a bad look for OG&E. It's a bad look. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Surely they, they go into a, a, a conference room like we have over here. Yeah. And they got their suits on, and there's a long table, and there's like, okay, perception-wise. this and I Because I, I do it on, on some think, boards that yeah. I'm on. Perception-wise, how is this going to look? But I think we've gotten to a point in society where people don't even care because they realize, give it an hour. It's true. They'll be worried about something else. I won't when I walk in there every time. I know. Yeah. Well, the, the I think we do got to go in there. Now, <coughs> like I was, was going to boycott it, but yeah, I can't do the that. Di- the Diddy thing, you know, that's that's a great example, right? I mean, yeah, the bridge. Oh, that was Waste Connection. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Waste Connection. Well, at least it's a private business that has to compete for business. Right. Yeah. What you got, Grant? Bad. Yeah, good ones, Grant. That yeah, oh, was my. good. Nickelodeon scandal. What's, what's I don't know what the Nickelodeon scandal oh, is. Oh, it's just same. Pedophiles, same, same pedophile people who are in charge there, pedophile kids that they bring on and sign on. I mean, it's it's ridiculous, man. I would go to prison. Mm-mm-mm. Well, I guess we pulled these brackets. Yeah, I got it pulled up right now. No, oh, okay. Am I still in twelfth? Fourteen. Uh, have you ever been that high? Well, I tell you, who's Doggle? They're terrible. Doggle? Yeah. That's D Ogle. Oh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> I, he, I think he has two in here, don't he? No, you don't have one in there. Oh, that's good. I, that's a good. That's rule. Ogle. Well, D Ogle. Who else would it Who be? Who else would it be? Oh goodness, that's, Doggle. That's terrible. <laughs> Who's Doggle? <laughs> I think I, if I know Douglas, he has twenty-five brackets, and he just put yeah. that one in there. We well, put the wrong one in there. Let's see here, cousin Nate. They caught Diddy in Miami trying to flee the country and arrested his alleged drug mule, but Diddy wasn't arrested yet. I, I heard he came on and talked about his witch hunt. I think people are trying to get did. him. His attorney, yeah. his attorney did. Uh, Grant Over, I still have a chance to get all eight elite teams, right? Uh, well, Grant, you're tied for fourth. He's Bill, in there. Tied for 13th. Yeah, 13th. Tied for 13th. Yeah. The bracket. Get this. Ronnie, are you first? That's me. Oh, that's why you're right. Guess who's number two? Who's that? Gas 17. Was that Connor Ace? Throws gas. Connor Ace? <laughs> <laughs> <It throws gas. laughs> Very good. Chris, you're third? I am, I'm third. I mean, it just pretty much says our family knows everything there is about basketball. I mean, we're pretty good. Really? Yeah, we're pretty good. Now, now here's... Stuff. Claiming that? Hold oh, on. Now, hold on. Here, here's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it's good to look at that rank. One, two, three. Uh, wait, hold on, Leslie. Le- oh, there she is. Number seven. But there, there it is. Possible. There it is. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's the, the difference right there. Yeah. Jordan Crawford has it. Brandon Russell thing. has the has the thing. But here, when you look at the Brent top, Oliver has it. When you look at no way, UConn's going to repeat. Can't do it. Sure they can. No, when when no you chance. look at the bracket, it's always good to see one, two, three, and all three of us have Houston. Which if Houston wins, it's going to help our chances. You've the won ninety five percent of your games. No, uh, 95.6. Oh, sorry, staying yeah. corrected. Yeah. But look, if you look over here. Connor has a. I, can, if you I look can't over beat, here. Yeah, max points. Yeah, I can't beat those two. I can't beat max them. Max points. Yeah, I can't beat them. 
So, obviously, Jordan and Leslie need some Connecticut to come in. Yeah. Braden, if North Carolina wins it. She, she'll be an easy winner. She'll be an easy winner. Yeah. Illinois. Oh, besides Tatum. I don't know. Tatum's Tatum got, it. got it, too. Got North Carolina. Mrs. Oliver. He can only get to 1390. She can only get to 1390. Yeah. Oh, I can still get to 1540. Sarah had like a perfect bracket on the first two days. And now she's yeah, not. You, you she's, can never brag about yeah. your first day. Well, it's, it's pretty good. That's the hardest day. That is the hardest day. that is day. the most times. So and yes. that was very look impressive. At, look at S.A. Grams. They got 1630 possible. Who's that? I don't know, but if they went out, they'll be at 1630. Jenny Dirt. Duke? Yeah. Wow. Well and true. It must be Ogle, Ogle's second one. Yeah, it's not as it can't be his primary <laughs> one. Uh GF Guthrie, U of H. Leslie, last year's champion, defending yep. champion. Three mistakes on my bracket. Number one, Kentucky picking two Cinderella to go to sweet sixteen. Yeah. Change my last minute, always go with your gut. Yeah, Sarah killed it on day one. She went perfect. She picked Kentucky to lose. Oh yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. She hates Kentucky. She's a KU fan, so she She's really dead. Yeah. She I, hates KU. Saying, she hates man, Kentucky. That's pretty, that was a pretty good job, Sarah. Then I really, Kansas, Kentucky. Yeah. Uh, she's just in spite. Yeah. But she she picked a lot of upsets and they all happened though in the first day. Yeah. Grant amazing. says he has the highest point possibility. Braden does too, seventeen thirty. Both of you have seventeen thirty. There you go. Seventeen thirty. Yeah, that top three will not look like that next week. Why not? I just don't, it just, it is, this stuff changes so much because at one point, it does on change. this thing, I was like dead last. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. if you're, I mean, Leslie's in a great spot. Yeah. You're going to be middle of the pack right now. Who picked Illinois? S- Sandy 71 picks. Who is that? I don't know who that is. <laughs> so, Phil. By the way, I'm going to put something clever in my name title next year, too, because Phil put Phil Nichols defending champ. That's like three years ago. Oh, it doesn't matter. No. If you say your name is... Well, I'm still a champion. Phil Nichols defending champion. Is Joe Montana not still a Super Bowl champ? He's yeah. not defending champ, though. No. Did I say defending? Yes. Well, I was lying. <laughs> 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 yeah, my bad. <laughs> my bad. That's fun. I like doing these brackets with these brackets guys every year. Yeah. Oh, man. What else, Grant? <sighs> I'm exhausted. What'd you do today? I've worked hard the last few weeks. I've got this little allergy no, thing I've been in my... It. Yeah. So oh, I should be getting terrible. here soon, probably. It's allergies. I used to have been working hard. I have been. I you said you allergies? had COVID. Well, I mean, I haven't taken you, the test. Yeah, you can't get COVID if you don't test. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I can't get... You know what? I got that special blood where you don't... Where you, where you just don't get COVID. You know the you know the I've type never, of blood that you can go they can that you can donate to either either yeah. oh so no matter if Chris and I both get in a tragic wreck you doesn't can give matter us both blood I can give you guys blood are but, you, what blood type are you I, so, I think it's so negative that, that the blood is that's what I am I'm a positive so again we don't get COVID we don't get COVID people with our blood type we don't get COVID all right Donald where are you that's true it's true is that, is that my science? whole fa- my whole family got it. I was in the same house with him, yeah, that's and right. they all got COVID, and I never got it. I tested every single week. I don't, never, never I, got got, COVID. I don't think I got it. Mom's never got it. She has the same blood type as me. You never had it? I never lost my – not that – Kel had it, didn't he? Kel had it. Did, Kel had it bad. Did Lancer have it? Who's going child? I can't remember. Yeah, they no, know he, better. No. They know better. Yeah. How about, how about Super Sammy? You uh, think you think COVID would mess with Sammy? I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, Nate reminds us, Major League Baseball opening is tomorrow. Tomorrow. Otani We're, should be. I got a lot of money on Otani. It's not even in America, is it? Where are the opening day at? Padres. It's uh, uh, Seoul, Korea. Is Otani facing it's not, some it's not, potential problems? Oh, my money's on him, though. Oh boy! <laughs> Here we go. Actually, it's not. He's apparently not very good with it. Yeah. That's crazy. P. Rose is like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Should P. Rose I be can... in the hall? Oh, yes. Chris? Uh, yes. He never lost a game he bet on himself. He won those games. So he's a good gambler, too? A hell of a good gambler. Okay. Well, I yeah. respect that. Pete Rose. Are you kidding me? Bonds needs to be in there. Rose needs to be in there. Grant Clemens says, needs to be in there. Grant says dumb sports. He's talking about baseball? Yeah, yeah. He's he's an old, uh, washed-up 
I, state champion coach. I got uh, <laughs> I got uh, sources shows me the Guthrie eighty nine er baseball tournament. Duncan's in it. Yeah, Duncan's in it. Remember we talked about this last week. I'm not sure. Yeah. If Grant wouldn't bring him, but. No, yeah, yeah, no, they got Thanks, Randy. Well, Randy, Randy brought him. Randy, Randy, yeah, yeah, Randy brought him. Yeah, yeah, Randy brought him. Um, no. They have, uh, who they got first round? I forget. They have. Um, we got the liberal team. They got OKC Broncos, I believe, first round. The Bronchos? Yeah, and then they'll play the winner of Piedmont and Perry. We have. Yeah, Piedmont's coming to Guthrie yeah, tournament. We have Liberal Kansas. Thought. I said, Coach, do we know if Liberal Kansas is any good? He goes, I don't know. He goes, well, you put him against this first round. You could have gave us the Broncos or somebody. The Broncos are usually pretty good. Yeah, we've handled them the last couple of years, and we, we did pretty good against them in the scrimmage this year. Talk about teams you don't normally play. T. Fred, if he's still listening, enjoy that Wichita Carroll. Right? Harris in the tournament. They got a stud yeah. player. What? What? Harris in our tournament. They got that. They got that stud junior. That kid that came out last year. It was just raking last yeah. year. He, yeah. He's a good player. He's coming. We saw Heron in the state tournament a couple years ago at, at OU. Uh, Grant says liberal sucks. Do they? Okay. Are they still? Oh, that's the summer team, liberal BJs. Stop. Yeah, that's their team name. Blue Jays? Look, BJs. <laughs> that's what you're saying. Oh, <laughs> look it up. It's there. Uh, let's see. Got Kingfisher versus Hera, Liberty, Liberal, and Guthrie. Then you got Duncan, OKC, Piedmont, Perry. It's our tournament. Why did you let Piedmont in? It's pay three hundred bucks. Fee. Yeah, you want to see? Here's here's Duncan tournament. You guys ready for Duncan tournament? Yeah, we play Duncan at three o'clock. It's a pool on Friday. And here's what I don't understand about Duncan Home tournament. Or away? It's the Duncan it's tournament. Du- oh, Soi tournament. tournament. Si- yeah. S- Soi tournament. Soi tournament. So that's what you're doing this weekend? No, this no, is eleventh couple, through thirteenth. Yeah. Oh, so out. here's what I don't understand about way Duncan did their bracket this year. They put themselves against MacArthur, a district. A district what? opponent in the first round. Why are you? Why are you playing play different? Yes, in a pool. This is a pool play. Why are you playing MacArthur? MacArthur any and you're no. It doesn't matter. Well, that answers the question. Well, I know, uh, but it doesn't matter. They don't play a district. They're going to play them in, in, in the district. Why are you guys so angry? You don't it's put stupid. You don't put a district team. You try not you, to even get them. In you don't even invite district people into yes. your tournament. Play somebody well, different. Tournament. Play stop, someone no, different. <laughs> Duncan JV's in it though. Duncan, so they, they <laughs> they're playing teams. Sterling. So Duncan JV, that's probably Team Chago's on. Yeah, <laughs> Sterling. Good basketball. Shatuck, Skytuck, or Shatuck, 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 Shatuck. Yeah. Are they any good, Chris? Who? Shatuck. Who? Shatuck. Shatuck. Not Skytuck. Shatuck. Shatuck. Duncan Guthrie, Armand MacArthur, Sterling Guthrie, MacArthur Norman, or Shatuck. I don't know. What, what what point at? I don't know what you're saying. Shatuck. Shatuck versus Sterling. Shatuck versus Guthrie. Oh, Shattuck. Oh, Shattuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Same Shattuck. difference. <laughs> Shattuck. Who the, who the, they're the Indians, by the way, and they win a lot of football. They have the record for most championships, eight men football, up there in Western Oklahoma okay. near Woodward. Well, good thing we're playing baseball. And then we're we, pretty good baseball. And of course, Duncan's got us against Norman. Shattuck. <laughs> Against Norman, our first game. Vote yes. Which Norman beat Duncan earlier this year. They're one and only lost. 6A school, Norman. We got the Hall coming in Thursday, Chris. You ever seen Heritage Hall in Guthrie before? That sporting event? No, especially not in Guthrie. Yeah. Maybe soccer, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I, well, I haven't seen it. I said something you've seen. No, I've not seen Heritage Hall football, basketball, baseball come to Guthrie. We got what, we, we Guthrie's got, gone to. Heritage Hall baseball, I think, for I've umpired there as well, but I've never seen Heritage Hall come to Guthrie for a sporting event. That'd be different. That's tomorrow in Guthrie. High tomorrow, 68. Come Friday, out to, 73. Saturday, 79. Sunday, 78. Monday, 78. Come out to, come out to the ball field. Got the... Uh, what are you guys doing for Easter? Going to church. That's in March. Yeah. So yeah. always in, usually April, April but yeah. yeah. March. You you because of the leap year, the 29th? You got special plan, plans? Or? No. No? Ronnie? Church and then mother-in-laws. Mother-in-laws. I believe so. We're going to Kansas for Easter. Big spread. Found out the menu today. A bunch of food. Well, you got to have ham. Yeah, I've got to. You had ham today. I love ham. Was that a prelude to, no, get, ready, just, to get ready? just wanted ham. Okay. Yeah. You like ham? Love ham. Yeah. Had a ham sandwich yesterday, too. Mm. I'm not really ham, ham sandwich guy. Ham and cheese. You PB&J guy? I like PB&J. Yeah. I don't like making it though. It takes too long. 
What? It takes too long to make a PBJ. I got to get it evenly spread oh, and it clumps Jesus. up. <laughs> <laughs> some bites have some, some bites don't. You know what I've been eating here lately? I've been eating peanut butter and banana. It's so good. Oh, that's what Elvis is deal. No, no, no. You're going to die on the toilet. No, he likes peanut butter, banana, and bacon and honey on a sandwich. Elvis? Pretty sure that's what it is. didn't work out well for him. Oh, no. Pushed too hard. Oh, boy. He must have sang too many songs. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brittany, CEO's headed to Sapalupa. Sapaloops. Sapalupa like, on Sunday. Sapalupa. How do you say it? Shattuck? Shattuck. 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 So, the, any of your kids still like the Easter egg hunt? Oh, yeah, they all do. They Even all do. Connor's probably the biggest Easter egg hunter of all of them. I can see that. Are they, is he good at it? Oh, he's the best oh, at I it. I bet he is. He dominates. Yeah. yeah. He can use his. He, oh, he, yeah. oh yeah, he can oh, use yeah. leverage now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's got big leverage time now. Yeah, yeah. that's good. That's real good. Uh, Cousin A says, "Just buy Uncrustables." We do. Yeah, got some crustables in the uh, freezer. Those are right so now. bad for you. Yeah, I, I don't eat them very much. What's Uncrustables? Pre-made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. The little with no crust on it. No Sounds crust. Terrible. The no. crust is the best part. No, no, it's good. No, 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 no it's good. You cut your crust off on sandwiches? No. Fight through it though. Yeah. Why do you not like crust? That's like not like crust on pizza. Do, do you do you eat the? Do they still put heels? Oh, heels my favorite piece of the bread. They still you make lion. No, I swear to God, I you can see Tanya. he's Greenwood County. So. Yeah, um, see, he does sleep with his feet out from the sheets well, too. Psychotic. Normal people do. <laughs> That's the, you're the only person in the world that does that. <laughs> Summertime, I got fan blowing, sensor layer way down. I'm under the blanket, feet out. Wintertime, heat cranked up. Under the blanket, feet out. Doesn't matter where I'm at. Doesn't matter what the deal is. Feet out. It's crazy. It's just weird. It's not weird. It is I'm, weird. I'm not the only person that sleeps with their feet out from under the There's blanket. There's not one viewer in here that does. Yeah, there is. There's I not. guarantee you it's at least one that sleeps with their feet out no. from under the blanket. Brittany Hads Marie only wants to hunt if there's money involved. Uncrustables are amazing. They're easy. <sighs> Did you? I saw, speaking of money. Speak, oh, I thought you money, said money, of money, 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 and kids. Oh, have you seen the commercial that? That there's like a like a, a card and an app that you get that you give to your kids and you and you pay them okay. to, to do chores around the house. Phil always pays people. Well, you need to pay people. No, 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 no. Not your own kids. Yeah, you do. No, I no, always no, no, pay no. my kids. No, no, no. Like there's like a no. This is like full blown. Like an allow- Like an allowance. Yes, like a business thing. Like you pay your. Just their payrolls on a card. Yes. That's been around for years, Ronnie. No, 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 no. Yeah, it has. People get their paychecks deposited on a card all the time. No, no, no. This yes, is they do. This is different, Phil. This How's it different? Different. I don't know. I didn't watch it completely because I was so shocked, and I started asking questions at that point. I mean, there's people in this town whose employees get their paychecks put on a no, card. No, no, I get that part. But why do, but why do, if you got a 10-year-old, why does he need a card? Just give him, well, hey, I, five I can bucks? tell you. Why does a 10-year-old need an iPhone? Well, my, I don't have a 10 year old. He's not no, I'm just what about a 13 year old junior high kid that uh, goes on baseball trips and they eat after they eat at McDonald's? The Boucher Club should be paying for that stuff. Oh, really? Absolutely. Well, boy, Brittany can speak on this. Yeah, she's got two. Uh, That's crazy. Uh, Why is it crazy? Why do you care? Why is it crazy? Why is it crazy? Green Timmons girls have them. It's entitlement the kids have these days. Entitlement. Entitlement. Yep. It's just you money gotta, on the card. Money on the card. You're going to give them cash. You've got to pay me, Mom. You better pay me, Mom. You better pay me, Dad. Oh, you're talking about getting That's a different thing. Mm-hmm. But, 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 if they work, if they do chores, do they work? Yeah, or, I mean, that, that's been going on for hundreds of years. It's called allowance. It's called getting a roof over your head. That's That's what you get paid. Get food, food, fed you, overnight. So you don't like you don't like college kids getting nil deals then. Yeah, you're against uh, that. Yeah, you're against it's, that. it's a little bit out of control. Yes, it is a little out of control. Uh, the portal's what makes it out of control. Yeah, if the portal wasn't there, it wouldn't wouldn't matter. Uh, Phil, there's some of you, some of you out there. I think Grant uh, sleeps with. Yeah, feet out front of the blankets. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he says I actually sleep with one foot out, and then Brittany also says she sleeps with one leg out. Corey What's thinks different? it's weird. Now, when I get hot, I take re- one leg out. Yeah, routinely. Grab yeah. But yeah, when you get hot, you, you stick one out. I, yeah. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've seen that before, but. We're still talking about feet. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But on a normal night, Brittany, Grant, you guys would have one leg out? I can, I can get behind that. But you get two, you get your feet out. Are you like ankled down? Oh, right on the ankles. Blanket hits right on the ankles. Feet out. See, this is this where, I, where I don't believe it. I mean, I believe you do it, but. In the middle of the night, you have no clue where that stuff's at. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, you do. 
No, you don't. There's no chance. Yeah. If I wake up and they're back under the blanket, immediately back out. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. yeah well, you move Sometimes around. you wake up and you're sweating. Yeah. Like, probably for the ma- majority of the night, you, you, they're you probably need the blanket. Well, like when a fever breaks. Oh, fever. Is that yeah. the only time you sweat in bed? <laughs> I usually not a sweater. No. Oh. Put enough time <laughs> screamer. <laughs> Mom and daddy's going to bed. Just remember, daddy's a screamer. <laughs> uh, Brittany says, it's nice when heads... Uh, when Heads isn't with us, she can use her card, and I don't have to always have cash. Yeah. I can just take it away. Why is this bothering you? Shut so it much? off and control where she spends at. There you go. More parental control than with cash. Mm. Maybe you need to be a little more responsible parent and get your nope. kids a card. I give my, ca- my kids, my, I give all my boys singles. They know what to do with them. Oh, boy. One foot out, not legs, says uh, Grant. The, the uh, things, dispensaries at the schools, the, the, the give chips yeah, and stuff. Yeah, chips. What are those called? Uh, they're called uh, Good. Yeah. vending machines. Yes, that's what they're called, Oof. vending machines. That bucked me off there for a second. <laughs> Leslie, I have a claustrophobic foot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a real thing. Oh. And I hate when my sheets are tucked in. That's oh, a, that's ridiculous. That's First a, thing I do when I get to hotels, I jerk the corners of the bed That's a Seinfeld up. episode. Yeah. You can't do that. I want mine tucked. That's disgusting. <laughs> it keeps you all snuggled in. Oh. That's so bad. You got you you wear thirteen shoes like I do. That's right. How do you get those big old honkers under there and keep them under there? Go to the side. You do you sleep on your side? Majority, yes. That's not healthy. How else do you sleep? You're supposed to sleep on your back. Oh, that's how you snore. Well, that's how you snore and, and stop I'm breathing. Just, I'm just no. Phil doesn't not, have a problem no, snoring. No, I don't. No, I can snore anywhere. Um, the doctor told me the best way to sleep is on your back with with the right kind of pillow. He's lying. Where was your doctor on January sixth? Yeah. Huh? Or was your doctor on January 6th? Well, he was serving his patients <laughs> here in Oklahoma City. Uh, Brittany, yes. I got hot and cold at the same time. There's some loud music going on around here. I feel you can't hear it. But. Cousin Nate says, leaving your feet out is why that man in Florida broke into someone's house to, stuck, to suck their toes. That was in, that was in Tennessee. It was wow, and it was a hotel. You got and Phil ne- never allowed back in. Well, That's when you were in Tennessee. You mm-hmm. told me I had five minutes to quit. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> so you remember that? But you what are you to- doing? Stop! Well, I'm in five minutes. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tournament season's coming up. Who? Tournament season. Oh, back, oh, back to baseball. Yeah, I saw pictures of a kid playing baseball in Dell City. It's like, oh, I remember those days. Although it's only been a few months out, but yeah. how cold was it on Monday? Next Monday? No, this, this month. This past oh, Monday. It wasn't it cold? Woo! Phil's a Bigfoot guy, huh? Oh yeah, he's 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 oh, yeah. a Bigfoot guy. You believe in Bigfoot? Oh yeah, Phil does. Well, there are a lot. And Sasquatch. Yeah. They yeah. live everywhere. Yeah. No We're video. No there. video of Evans anywhere, but well, they're they're sneaky. They're sneaky. Yeah, they're, they, they're real. really happens. Would I'm, anybody like to guess what I'm having to drink tonight? Water. Let me get my thermos out. Uh, tea. It's orange, orange Fanta. No, it's tea. It's tea, isn't it? It's not tea. It's not? Orange Fanta. It's not Fanta. What is it? Orange Crush. It's not Orange Crush. I'm bored with this game. Orange Kool Aid. Oh, there you oh. Go. That's, <laughs> good. Oh, that's gross. What? Oh, we never bought orange Kool Aid growing my up. My boys don't like it either. Cherry only. My boys don't yeah. like orange Kool Aid. So who gets the whole gallon? Oh, you don't need the whole gallon. Yeah, I do. We put like you put how many cups of sugar you put in that thing per gallon? Yes, one cup of sugar. One and a fourth. You're adding sugar to your Kool Aid. Well, how else do you? Yes, Kool-Aid? how else do you drink it? Well, you don't add sugar to it. It's like cereal. You don't add sugar to cereal what? either. Sometimes you do. No, you don't. That's sacrilegious. On Cheerios, on Cheerios, Cheerios you, do. You, do. you have to on Cheerios. Yes, Cheerios. You just push through it. No, no. Then you eat the, the, the big globs of sugar oh. at the bottom of the bowl when you're done. <laughs> uh, Dr. Mike, 39 degrees with a wind chill of 29 at Owens Fields. Oh. Oh. Cold. <laughs> wow. Hell got a game out there. Yeah. Wow. It was nicer yesterday. Yeah, it, w- it wasn't that cold out there yesterday. Man. So I learned something. So there's really no standards to be citizen of the year in Guthrie? Well, I mean, it's in his office. I've seen it. You got to be nominated. Is that what you want? I want citizen of the year. You nominated yourself. I did not. You did. No way of knowing. You did. You nominated him. Huh? You nominated him. I 
wouldn't do anything nice for Chris. Who did I nominate last year for? Who was Citizen of the Year last year? Ronnie Fields? No. Ronnie it was, Fields. It was Ronnie, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. I was close. I was halfway there. Uh, Grant was guessing that I was drinking Ronnie bone broth. Yeah. Yeah. I was Cousin Nate guessed I was drinking Long Island iced tea. Leslie said Tito's. And Corey loves the big. <coughs> oh, Corey loves the mayor loves the Bigfoot Bigfoot conversation. You well, can have one with Phil. I don't know why we have it. Where's I mean, he? Where's he? Where's he live at? Well, he's everywhere. He's like Jesus. Everywhere. Yeah. He likes. Uh, so he's a spirit. He's not well, like in, Jesus. in Oklahoma. Like Jesus. In Oklahoma, he likes the southeastern part of the state. I've never seen him. I live for five years. Well, I mean, he doesn't go into town. I mean, people want to hurt him. I mean, I hunt it like every day. And he's he is a peaceful creature. So he's friendly. Yeah, he's friendly. Yeah, he loves people. Why doesn't he ever take pictures with him then? Well, he's shy. Oh. I mean, none, none of this stuff's hard to understand. He's just shy. You know. Hmm. So, uh, uh, Cousin Nate says there's a Bigfoot convention oh. down in Honoboya, oh. Oklahoma. Honoboya, Oklahoma. They're on top of it. So, got to... Uh, Participate at the uh, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? How'd that go? Who won? Because great teachers. The uh, defending champions, the returning champions, yeah. never got in the top five the entire night. Brittany didn't get in the top five the whole night. I told you she cheated last year. Nobody yeah, believed me. She I did. She, cheated. she did. Yeah, I remember you. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. guarantee you she cheated. Were I you bet. there last year? Oh, yeah. 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 They couldn't get sniffed the top five. Yeah, I'd have been there last night, but I had commitments, prior they, commitments. They cheated. Yep. Uh, but yes, guest newbies. One last night. Good. That's good. What now? Are you smarter than fifth grader? Guess what grade level is at guess? Uh, fifth grade. Fifth grade. Yeah. They dominated a bit. So they're training. They were just been in training. They they won. They went up there and got their picture and their trophy. Yeah. They were walking back. I said, I'd like to thank all the uh, guest newbies for supplying all the questions this year. <laughs> <laughs> what time did that wrap up? 7.40. Oh, that's great. Started yes. at? Uh, dinner started at? 5.45, and we started the game at 6.45. Oh, that's, yeah, so good. Yeah, yeah. That's it was really, really good. good. Uh, they raised some good good money for the yeah, foundation? Yeah, yep, good. yep. That's very good. You had a good turnout for it. Very good. Uh, Brittany, we have found some pretty squatchy places where when we've camped. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, maybe that's why the mayor likes the... Well, they're uh, out there. Bigfoot, yeah. Uh, Brittany says... Uh, Womp, womp, womp on the, uh, are you smarter no. than the fifth grader? They dressed up of angels. They were trying to get oh, he- help from upstairs. Help from Jesus? Yep. yep. Jesus sees through that. Mm-hmm. He knows. Prism Bank was there. Prison? Prism? Prism. Prism. Oh, yeah. Bank was there. Yeah. Guess it, what they were dressed in? What? Prison outfit. Oh. The the real one, like. What would you dress up as? Uh, you wore a shiny jacket? I didn't have, I had, uh. My blue black jacket, just the the shiny one. Not the shiny one. Okay. No. Oh, the the normal one you always yeah, wear. Yeah, with the blue tie. Okay. Are we ever going to admit we never went to the moon? Or are we going to continue this fraud with America? Fraud? I, well, there's pictures. We landed on the moon. We didn't go to the moon. <laughs> that would never. We didn't go. We landed on the moon. I don't think we did. Either. We just wanted someone else to win. Yeah, that's cap. <laughs> uh, Grant. Did y'all see the dunk by Isaiah Joe tonight for the Thunder? Uh, We've been Steph- here the whole night. S- Stefan just texted us that. Let's, let's watch it real fast. Stefan just happened to be recording? Uh, I think he got on the jumbo trail. Oh, jumbo, tr- the replay. God, how many things does he have? Right. Went to the rodeo for three days in a row. You're a cowboy? It's not my first rodeo. That's pretty good. Pretty good elevation. I used to do that all the time. Side gym and north gym. Goal? No, no, it's 10 foot. On the side, side. Uh, Would you jump off of the wall? Yeah. It was on the side. Yeah, I can do. Oh. Some, I can do some amazing things off Is that, that one wall. of the twenty nine tech messages I got. I may have to call the. I may have to call the ambulance tonight while I'm filming. Two rate increases by OG and E. Yeah, that's crazy. Just so they could pay for their name on a wall on a building for ten years. Oh. Oh, maybe I'm not getting the text message you got. Oh no, there it is. Oh. Oh, so this is the dunk here? Yeah. All right, I'm going to watch this for Grant. It's a nice jump. Nice dunk. It's violent. It's not that good, though. It's a good dunk. No, no, it's well, good. It's like but me dunking on a seven-foot goal. Yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, it's, you see it 
pretty common in NBA, so I don't think it's that great. But yeah, no, it's it's a good it's, dunk. It's a good dunk. Yeah, yeah, over but a, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Is it going to be on Sports Center Top I, I, Ten? But I would not have. I would not have recorded it as a, as a basketball fan. I would not have recorded it and sent it to somebody. I, I don't, I don't think it's. I don't me think neither. it's that good. No, it wasn't either. that good. Now, if you don't watch a lot of basketball, you probably thought it was amazing. Yeah, I didn't think it was that great. No, I agree. Yeah, mm. Jaden Nickens had better dunks. I think Ooh, exciting dunks. Too. Yeah, yeah. Mm. He needs to play basketball. I don't know. He kind of tore up on those on those on those. Camps he just came back from in Dallas or Texas area. He, he did pretty good there. Did he? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's going to measure out. I mean, the kid's a freak athlete. But, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know if he'll ever get on the field anywhere. Hope does. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wish him well. Yeah. All right, man. This is a great show. Yeah. Glad, glad Eddie joined us. Yeah, that Eddie. Good. Join us. Um, I will try to get an article together. Tonight? Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Okay. I put, my, I put my time in. So here's. Well, don't forget trivia with Ronnie. All right. Oh yeah, we still got that. Still got trivia. No, okay. Sweet. Jesus, uh, we're almost out of here. This is what if we updated the sign would be like, but we don't have it updated. But we got to transition somehow. Yeah. We'll, no. all right. Go ahead. We might be able to hurry up. Come back with that. Phil, Phil don't rush me. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Rude. So well, I'm okay. sick. Bring your product. I don't feel well. Do not look this up, people. You will be cheating, Brittany. Oh, I promise you, Brittany's going to cheat. Yeah, don't cheat. <laughs> cheater. She didn't cheat last night. Well, she knew people were watching. <laughs> now, this survey came out about 2020 or so, so it's a little bit old. Oh, this is pre, pre, pre-pandemic? This pre, Pre-COVID. Pre-COVID, all right? Pandemic. All right. 13% of people under the age of 24 have never done this. Make love. <laughs> no. <laughs> you every every week. I'm going to be right one of these days. <laughs> 13% of the people that are under the age of 24 have never done this have before. Have never done this before? I've never done this I, before. Okay, here's my first guess. Okay. Invest money. No. That, that's good. That's Chris. a great like guess. That's a great like guess. That. Great guess. That is good. 13% of the people under the age of 24 claim they've never done this. They've never done this. Uh, Dr. Mike says Phil is looking sleepy time. Yeah, oh, he's got uh, uh, Brittany, allergy time. Brittany re- reiterates that she does not cheat. Mm, mm. She's lying. Uh, Leslie, to answer your question, says drive. That's a good one because that is a good. Because a lot of people, a lot of kids these days, they don't, don't drive. drive. Yeah. yeah, they don't yeah. drive. I don't know why they don't want to drive. As a parent, my kids will be driving day one of sixteen. But no, that's a great guess. But that's not the answer. Yeah. Oh, great this guess. is a good one. Jeff Guthrie used the landline. Oh. Yeah, that's that's a really good one because kids kids won't even know how to use a rotary by phone. By the way, by the way, I do not use a rotary phone, not to brag or anything, I but too. I can. <laughs> this, I, I just thought I just thought about this the other day. We built our house in two thousand. We were so cool. We built the landline by the toolet. I mean, oh, right yeah. oh, let's go! I mean, we were next level. No, we no, Chris oh, yeah. was big time. He had two shower heads. Still do. Still does. But two shower heads in one bathroom. Yeah. That's the first thing he showed me. He goes, Chubbs, come here, watch this. In the master? In master. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. He goes, look at this. I said, holy cow. <laughs> My big brother's has, a ride. It has freaking two shower heads on yeah. it. That's awesome. You don't get cold. A walk-in shower? No, I wish. Uh, we, I'd like if we remodel. You the tub shower? Yeah, I'd like to get the. Because yeah. there's some, I've seen some remodeled ones that I would like. Oh, your house would go for 400000 Just sell it and put something, buy something else. I would like to have the what shower. What would my house go for? Two fifty, hundred. Yeah, I'd like to have the the above the head water faucet on. That's what we have. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like area. like it's a raining on you. I still want the one here, but I want the one here too. If and you get it, you got that. We got the one that's got the. It's, it's like Square. raining on you. Yeah, yeah. And then we've got. Can you move it? Yes. Yeah. And then you've got three or four spigots you can point at different places. That comes in handy. And then you've got the. Well, to reach spots that are hard to reach. Yeah. And then if you want to really reach the hard to reach spots, it's got the little handle thing you can switch oh, about. Oh, stop. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. No. <laughs> what? I'm talking about your feet. Oh, I, feet. Oh, I will yeah, never like own. Back of, your, back of your knees. I will never have a shower that has a handle where you can turn it on. I will never have that. I hate, I, those, I hate those. Why? I think they're so stupid in a shower. Oh, you like the knob? I like, no. I don't like the thing where you can just. You're not You're not bathing properly. No. Hold on, hold on. I, I want, I'm, I'm I want the water to come me. Issue. I'm not following yet. What, start again? It's got the little little line on it, and it sets there, and you can take it out. Yes, and it's about that long. Yeah, and you can. Oh, oh yeah, the, no, the wand. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, do you not, want, you do want not want one of those in my shower. No. Yeah, I'm not. I wouldn't get big... the hard to reach spots. You move and, and literally you open. Just, you just no, it hits you on top. You can't. And it get runs. Direct, you and can't it literally get runs around. all the way down. You can't get direct cleaning from up top. Yes, you can. You gotta get direct cleaning. <laughs> Trust me. 
You gotta get directly. Why do you have one installed above this? Well, that's for the head, and the shoulders. Leave the wand out down of it. The chest you never want a wand. No, you gotta have the wand to no. reach all the spots. No, you're not good at taking showers. How's though? your water pressure? Oh, it's good. <laughs> yeah, strong like a bull. Okay, back to Ronnie's no. question. <laughs> what percentage? I, I forgot. Thirteen. 13. Oh, okay, thirteen. Under twenty-four. So they've never done this. This yeah. is a good one because they only have a three-year window. No six-year window. Uh, vote. Nope. Nope. That's okay. actually pretty. That's, that's oh, this is a, we got a good one. Oh, Grant okay. says send a letter. And and how? What, what's he mean by that? Oh, oh, I think we're on to something. We're on to something. What, I don't know what put that means. Put it in the envelope. Put a stamp on it and mail it. Mail it. That is correct. Yeah. Oh, that is correct. Grant. That is correct. He's a Googler. He, he is a Googler. Cheated. He's a Googler. Yeah, he cheats. <laughs> He cheated on every single question I ever had. Yeah. Did they cheat when they won the state title in baseball? Oh, no. They beat the shit out of oh, okay. Piedmont. Yeah. Beat the what out of them? Crap out of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, how did they get there, though? Yeah. yeah. No. Well, Played a lot of MacArthur in the Duncan tournament? Well, first of all, hold on. We'll, we'll talk. State tournament is so hard to win now for the for the, for the the teams with not, not so deep because you throw your one on the first day, he's done yeah. with the pitch count and everything. Back in our day, as long as you, you could throw 300 pitches, as long as you didn't go over five innings. Yep. Why did they change the rules? Soft? Soft. Okay. Going to hurt kids' kids arms. Come on. Keep that up. Yeah. <laughs> Goose Goss used to throw every Ronnie single day. turned on that sucker. Yeah. Good job, Ronnie. Come on. Uh, yeah. No, they've, they've never sent a letter through the mail. That's correct. Uh, Sarah had a good one. Uh, used the VHS. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That, uh, back in the day, it used to be cool to have a, a dual VHS. One would burn the, the tape. You ever had one of those where you... Play and then record. Oh, uh, all the cassette tapes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we used to uh, Cody says burn a CD. That's a good one. Do you ever burn a CD, Phil? I, I, we were, I was more of a cassette era. Yeah, I know, but yeah, I think I can't see you burning a CD. Though. We burned CDs all the time in college. Yeah. yeah. Copy. Well, no, it's against law. Rip. Oh, yeah. Yeah, LimeWire. That's what we law. used to use, you know. Uh, and Napster. It's nah, didn't use, Nap- didn't use Napster. You guys are breaking the law? Why would you do that? Well, trying to get how many viruses we can get. Yeah. There's, there's, it didn't come without consequences. You didn't go to prison for that. Brittany says we have a rain shower above too. It's worth it. Yeah, it's nice. No, you talking about the wand? Oh no, no, yeah, rain shower is fine. No, I don't want the most wand. rain showers have wands. No, no wand for me. Grant Keep said that wand. was an honest answer. I believe you, Grant. I don't believe you, Grant. I believe you. No. Brittany said send a handwritten note. Brittany sends handwritten. That, notes. that was the, back in the day. You write you write notes to your girl or the girl you liked. You write on a little piece of paper and you Check give it yes to her. No? Check yes or no. Jerry put love me. Oh boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh boy. I wonder if Jen still has those, that box of them she's had at her house. Remember? She's had a box of handwritten notes Love from notes her friends. she got? I think it was friends. Because that's just how they communi- we communicate asked, back I in the day. Some, it was like, text. Yeah, it was like, it was like hey, man, you want to go here after after after, yeah. after school, whatever yeah. here? And that's what you send I, I have love notes still. To Sammy? Uh, for, and, to and from Sammy, yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, I got, a, I got a good story about a love note back in the day. So my buddy, who I graduated with, his sister... And her boyfriend went to Guthrie High School uh, probably six, five or six years before we did. Oh, youngsters! Youngsters. So, in our senior year, in one of his in one of his classes, when he gets the book at the beginning of the year, he opens up his book, and there is a love letter from his now brother in law to his sister back when they were in high school. He found it like six years later inside a book. That's crazy. How cool six is years that? Later. Yeah. Wow. Ain't that crazy? That's that is crazy. That's pretty cool. We, don't, we can't get upgraded new. Uh, School books within five, oh, four no, or five no. years? They still have the same ones, I'm sure. They still have books, like math books? I'm pretty sure for they school do. To, I for think school so. today? I, yeah. I, Brent? What? I, don't Brent? Know, I don't know if I've ever seen a book. Well, you have your kids in junior high. Well, no, you bring I, home like an English I, I, book I, I, math literally, book? I literally went to every single classroom over spring break. So, And I don't think I ever saw one book, actually. Now you speak of it. Brittany, books, junior high? Those are books? I don't know. Oh what? well, Grant says you should see the things they draw in the books. Oh, we do have books. That's oh, been textbook. Going on okay, forever. okay. Doctor Sensor says yes, we do. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I don't think I ever saw one in every single like, classroom I walked in. Books, like, like a math book and an English book. I never opened one of them. <laughs> What's this book thing you speak of? Real, yeah, I mean, people used to, people used to highlight them in there for you, so you know the the hard stuff before what yeah. happens for the next year. It was always you see, open. You always open up and sign oh, your name. Just letting you know it's important. See who else had your book. Before oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And you would actually go for when you go pick out your book. You would go actually go look for like your brother, your sister, your buddy yeah. from the year before. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, Had's backpack weighs a ton. It's textbooks. Yes, thank you. Textbooks. 
kids rather carry book yes bag in I don't, their book I, bags instead of using a locker. I don't think they. I don't know if they. I don't know if they uh, issue lockers anymore. Well, no, I've asked. I've asked this before because it's come up. I think you have to be an athlete to get a no, locker. No, you can now. request a locker, but kids aren't requesting lockers. You I can th- request a locker. I thought that was like the first thing you did when you when you got to school. Exactly. You, I totally you were agree. given your locker number. Yeah, in your your coat. That's where you met your friends at the locker. Yeah, yeah. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kids are using backpacks instead of lockers. Hiding stuff. Can you not share, Ronnie? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah. No. Okay. I, I, is this the shower you speak of? Is this like? <laughs> yes, that's it. <laughs> is, is that the one you? <laughs> Let me see. That checks. Yeah, that's happened. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite. Yeah, that's that it. That the shower you yeah, like? That's it. That's it. Yeah. Thanks, Grant. Ob's confirmed she has books in her desk. You know what I got at my house? A pillow, and it's calling my name. It's not 9 o'clock yet. We started at 6.30. We're supposed to be done at 8.30. See, Phil, that's why we should start at 7, because we're always going to go to 9 anyway. It's <laughs> <That's> ridiculous. <laughs> Might as well go seven more minutes then. Yeah. Right? I, oh, what else? I had something else I was going to talk about. So we got uh, groundbreaking ceremony, 11 a.m. Yep. Economic. Uh, oh, no. Chamber meeting at 8.15. Yeah, oh, yeah. We got that tomorrow. Yes. Chamber, uh, no, groundbreaking at 11. Yep. Lunch, hopefully. And then Guthrie Blue Jay Baseball at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. Isn't there, isn't there something over in, in the chamber sponsoring a... A YMCA meeting at noon. I thought I the make economic it. development thing was tomorrow at it. Is at that tomorrow? Indian. I think it is. Oh, I forgot. Uh, Brittany says, I love decorating my locker. As does not have a locker at the Yes. You used to have pictures of in there. Oh, yeah. Put pictures up there. I had, I had all my Ryan Miner stuff. Yeah. All my newspaper clippings. Big- L- LCDC. LCEDC luncheon is tomorrow at Meridian. That's what okay. I was thinking. All right. Big Chad, our senior year. Chad Sanders. Big Chad Sanders, yeah. 2002 state champion. Correct. Uh, he had one of those tall, because not all of them in high school are all tall. Some of them were half. Some are he had a tall one, and he put every single Gatorade bottle he drank that year in his, in his locker. He had a lights to the top. <laughs> and Dr. Mike's employee. We have a chamber after hours tomorrow night also. also. Oh, is that Cyclone Septus? Yeah. 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 Blue Jays yeah. played tomorrow, though. Yeah. yeah, I'll be at Blue Jay baseball. Yep. Uh, Dr. Mike? Be white out tomorrow. A white out? Yeah. Uh, the heater in the press box working, right? I don't know if they got that fixed or not. I, didn't, I wasn't told about uh, it, that. It, what about the, uh, what about the uh, access Wi-Fi? point? I emailed him, and he said he would come out today. I don't know if he did or not, okay. so I don't know. Uh, Dr. Mike, we try to have textbooks in the classrooms and access to virtual textbooks for students. It's good. Jeff Guthrie says vote yes next week, April 2nd. Yes, yes, yes. Well, four. Right in the throat. That's where you're getting. Punched. Oh, everything we talked about earlier today. That's right. Okay. Five more minutes, Phil. No, oh, I'm not gonna make it. You can stage left. X stage left. We'll be I'm getting ready to. We'll take care of everything. Uh, oh wait, wait a minute. Grant says he's out. No. Oh. Glad I supplied a few topics in textbook textbook drawings. Rum, oh. Rumor has it he's taking that Thursday off to take advantage of the hospitality there at S S O I in Duncan. They got a good hospitality room. Oh, okay, in Duncan. Yeah. Got to win. Yeah. Taco Tico. No, not that good. Okay. Sent the pictures of Taco Tico Mini this week, remember? <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh. Phil, you going to bring anything to the show today? Any topics? already did. I contributed when Eddie was here. Um, Topic-wise? No, no, I'm, I'm good. You got anything on your mind? I got a lot of things on my mind. Well, let's go ahead. No. <laughs> All right, I guess we can end the show early. Good job to... Uh, Mosquito Pest Authority and Brightside Bins raising seven hundred twenty dollars for, oh, yeah, for, for the for the for the lunch kids. That was really good. Goes toward their was really account. Yeah, and I signed up a person or two, so oh, worth it. I'm still waiting for you to tell me thank you for renewing. I didn't do that. No, we didn't. Send, our email don't go out. Mm. Yeah, no, it's not the same. Oh, it's not the same. <laughs> personal thank you. Oh, hey, next time, just try to change. Starting to act like Eric right now. You know what? Don't have time for all that crap. That's <laughs> Eric Little right I don't, there. I don't have time for all that crap. <laughs> all right. We're out of here.
Big thanks to uh, City Manager Eddie Faulkner. Vote yes. Yes, we 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 can say that. Uh, Are we all three voting yes? Show of hands. Vote yes. Good. We gotta get all of our peeps out there. Yeah, gotta get out and vote. Don't assume this. You gotta get out and vote. Don't waste your vote, right, Ronnie? Yeah, not on this. You don't want to waste it yeah, on this. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. yeah. All right, Ronnie, Phil, Chris. Love you, Chris. Love you, buddy. Thanks for tuning in to the Open Mic Podcast. Join us each week from inside the Sega Banana Media Studios located in beautiful downtown Guthrie. Catch our shows on Facebook and YouTube and also on Apple, Google, Spotify, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Until next time, so long from Guthrie, America. Oh